Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Before we jump into our session for the night, uh, we do have some announcements to get through, beginning with our first sponsor, Forum. Sam. Okay, here we go. What's up, TikTok? Here's a day in the life of my life as a Critical Role ad wonderkind. At 6.45, I get to my station. Here's my desk mates, Ray Ray and Texas T. Say hi, guys. Then I check out my assignment for the night. Looks like tonight is Thorum. They handcraft unique wedding bands out of everything from meteorite to whiskey barrels. Hashtag whiskey life. Hashtag drunk fingers. Hashtag space thumbs. It says here. Space thumbs is a good one. Yeah, no. It says here they ship every single ring within one business day and have been making rings for over a decade. Okay, y'all, be sure to stitch this video with saying something that you've done for over a decade and it better be dirty. At about 6.50, I pick a genre of ad. Here's my here's my genre options. Oh, no. Uh, oh my God. I can wow. either do a stupid character or both. How about Australian Batman? Crikey, Robin, it's Auckland Joker. Why so Yahoo serious? Oh. Uh, or a, self, a self-deprecating oh. bit where I smile a lot to cover up my deeply rooted emotional problems. Nah, that's more of an Instagram thing. Uh, I, could do a ga- I could do a game show spoof where I ask Ray Ray, which one of these is a real material that Thorum makes rings out of? World War II rifle stocks, dinosaur bone, or Damascus steel? Uh, oh, whoa, nice millennial pause, Ray Ray. It was a trick question. They're all used by Thorum. I think I'll go with option D, social commentary, where I mock a well-known trope from a major social media platform. Cue the TikTok dance music. Dance, Ray Ray. Dance, Texas T, dance. Oh, no. Dance? Oh, no, no, no. This dance is called, if millennials are old, what does that mean for us? Oh, no. Then at 7.10, I end my ad wonderkin day in the life by saying, whether you need a wedding ring, anniversary ring, or just want a ring that looks awesome, head over to Thorum.com and use promo code Critical Roll. That's T-H-O-R-U-M.com and use promo code Critical Roll to get 20% off a truly unique wing ring. <laughs> Thanks, TikTok. I'm running out of time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Oh, oh no. Ray, Ray, you fucked that up. I got to do it all again. All right, no, no, here we Ray, go. Ray, Ray, uh, Marisha, we got, we got some oh, yeah. other announcements to get through. Marisha, please, for the love of God, more announcements. <laughs> we'll be taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. At the yeah, starting now. <laughs> no, our end of the month break is next week. Thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. It's the last Thursday of the month. Thank fuck. We'll be returning with campaign three, episode we'll fifty, on yeah. oh shit, YouTube. Oh, oh no! I think we're past, oh, I think we're past we're the time. We're past the time. We're good. I don't know. We're we're gonna get demonetized right. always and forever. Um, <laughs> so subscribe and buy merch because everyone everywhere on YouTube is getting demonetized. This is about programming. We're gonna be returning <laughs> with campaign three, <laughs> episode fifty, March second. Support your local YouTuber. Hard Hell time. yeah. Travis, what's up? Throwing away my gum. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I heard that. I, yeah. almost, I almost saw it. You can watch the entire second <laughs> season of The Legend of Mark Fucking Arena! Yeah! Prime yeah. 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 uh-huh. video! All 12 episodes waiting for you to watch, rewatch, theorize, have a dance party. They have dance parties when they watch? Sure, sure. Yeah, so and don't forget awesome. you can find all of our Twitch watch parties breaking down everything from season two over on our Twitch and YouTube channels. <laughs> Shout out to our lovely host, Mika Burton. Woo! Yeah, Mika! All of our wonderful guests. Yes! Was so much fun. So, so fun. much fun. And thank you, thank you so much for your support. We hope you enjoyed the second season. Get yourself ready for season three. <laughs> <laughs> And I do believe that concludes our announcements. So, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role.
So, last we left off. Wow! <laughs> last we left off. <laughs> Bell's Hells had barely escaped the Fey Realm after leaving a twisted mass of arcana and metal behind that was once considered a Malleus Key. Seemingly beyond reconstruction in the time window before the solstice is to arrive, you were chased into the woods as you reached for the Exandrian gate out of the realm, the flying fey dragon and its rider above, the Sorrow Lord himself. You managed to dodge murder, um, have a bout of uh, rhyming interactions with the keeper of the Exandrian gate, and then eject yourself through back to your home realm which you've found to be beyond the threshold of a Shenador and actually within the uh, older home turf of Imogen, upon deciding that with the solstice being within a short period of time, your best journey forward towards it would be to recall your airship as your port buddy was seemingly discovered, um, plane rider Rin vanishing from communications on sight. You walked over, towards Jelvan, where you're from, interacted with your father to ask some questions, gauge the tension of that relationship, and through some conversation, managed to acquire a keepsake, a relic of your mother's. The airship arrived, spooked the bumpkins, as uh, <laughs> Captain Zandis did call them, uh, and you climbed atop the Silver Sun, heading in a northeastern direction back towards Hellcatch Valley. Eleven days. Eleven days! Um, until the solstice begins, as you now rise up into the clouds of the sky above, the horizon looming before you, and you just begin to pick up, Orem, this very faint sort of drifting energy throughout the sky, just this kind of, this faint filter, almost like, like ethereal waves that occasionally just ride through the sky and then vanish from your sight. You've never seen this before. You're the only one with the keen enough eyesight to pick up the pattern. The sky's different. What do you mean? Just watch for a minute. Do <sighs> you see that? Do we see that? It takes you a good moment to really kind of focus and pick up on it, and it's just these faint little <sighs> waves of color. Rapidly changing color. Kind of helps if you like cross your eyes a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you think, can see it better. That's you a think we're you think we're near the edge? The edge of oh. No. Oh. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> that took the edge off. Have we ever have I ever seen anything like this around Jelvon before? No. It's odd, because like you focus on it, and it's 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 just these these momentary kind of drifting sparkles, these kind of little like waves or veins of color. That the way it looks across the sky, you can't tell how close or how far it is. There's no way to to gauge the distance between you and it. And at times, it just kind of it's almost like a cloudless dream lightning, but technicolor and ghostly in just moments. Is it all going in one direction? Does it seem like there's a flow? Make a perception check. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's 
Sorry, I was having a I was having a moment there. Uh, it's okay. It's not gonna last. Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be a, a, a continuous flow, and the shifting kind of sometimes goes left to right. Sometimes it looks smaller, larger, further, closer. It, it, it it's kind of hard to gauge at this particular height, but it is oddly beautiful. Is it all different colors? Yeah, sometimes it comes in like a like a purplish tint that goes kind of to a dark red. Sometimes it has like a like a turquoise that drifts to a faint yellow and then it's gone. It's 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 unique. It's beautiful. Captain Zandis. What is this? What what's going on? Have you ever seen anything like this in, in your years of, of travel in the sky? Like what? Just hold Give it still a minute. for a moment and like It helps to cross your eyes. Slightly cross no. your eyes. And then unfocus, focus on the middle, and then unfocus your eyes. What in the hell is all of this? Don't really know what that is. What, should we go around that? I don't know. Uh, is this a good thing? I don't know. It's a thing. I'll go a little lower, I guess. I <laughs> the ship kind of. No avoiding it. Maybe. Is it, it is everywhere, though. I think right. it's everywhere. I mean, it. On the, in the horizon. You look on the horizon, and where you focus, you see it. The moments, and then you kind of adjust to another part of the horizon, and you see it again, but different colors, different distances. I'm gonna lay down, look up, mm. just stare right at the sun. <laughs> Whatever's up there. Disadvantage on perception. <laughs> um, nothing up above. Is okay. It close enough to... This is weird. Does it feel like it's um, like it's alive, like it could be some sort of entity, or does it feel like it's just part of the atmosphere? Make an arcana check. Oh yeah, good. I have really good arcana. Oh, so. Three. Wow. Could be either. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> kids, it's not above us. It's clear, or at least it looks clear. I don't know. Is it close enough to maybe try to touch Make it? Make cotton candy out of? Yeah. You reach your hand out, and there's nothing there to touch. It's one of those things. Once you put your hand up, you kind of get a little more depth perspective on it. It is. It is not close. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's very far away. It is definitely far away. Or it's, it's just hard looks to far. tell. I mean, it's, it's not anywhere anywhere you can reach it. Oh. When Xandis dropped down, is it still eye level, or did it seem like it's above us now? Uh, as Xandis drifted down, it still kind of remains about eye level. It's and it's definitely not above us. Nothing this pretty can be dangerous. And just to double check, can I use Hunter's Bane to see or smell That's or true. feel if this is any kind of like Fey realm sure, bleeding make a over? Sure, perception or... check. Fourteen. Fourteen. I mean, you are uniquely attuned to outer magics, dark magics. You don't catch anything of that regard, but there is kind of a the faintest bit of just a, a, a buzz to the air around you, like the faintest touch of a tongue to a nine volt battery. There's just this kind of like ever present vibration, and it's potent. The air is. It is potent. That 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 very faint little taste at the end of your tongue of energy. I got a weird idea. Hmm. Um. Just in case, uh, this may just be stupid. Let's find out. Um, I'm going to try, and I'm just going to spark up. I'm going to see what happens if I yeah set spark up it up and have a magic effect. Yeah. See what happens to a magic effect explode in the middle the, of this. Explode the ship. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, I spark and I rage. Just standing there. I'm just going to just going to. I'm not even going to use my hammer. I'm just going to like knock together and. Okay, we'll go ahead and roll for what happens. Ow. This could get fun. Uh, this is two. the same so person that, is, that uh, I don't have smashed our. I think that's. Yep. No. That's uh, the lens. Smashed like Fern's backstory. It's, uh, space. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you kind of uh, begin to to channel that 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 power and and emotion within you. Um, there's just a gentle kind of spark that drifts over your head that it has a similar coloration, like ever so faint before it fades again. So there's there's a very very minimal reaction, but it's it's present. Is there anything? You would have all below? just seen like a weird 
hole in space and time, just sort of, just a almost like a broken mirror suddenly just flicker above me. Oh, seems normal. That's not, okay. There's so many weird things you can do, Ashton. Is that just was that, you? Yeah, was that you or was that the sky doing that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that wasn't, if it was me, I haven't actually had that ever happen before. So that's usually, I mean, things happen that don't happen before. That felt weird, <laughs> even for me. I don't really do things, things just sort of happen to me. Things happen that haven't happened before. Yes. Life needs things to live. I know that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, friend, you were saying? Oh, I was just gonna look over the side to see if it's also under (laughs) us. Did we already do this? No. Did someone already do this? No, we looked up. You don't really see it beneath you. Um, You just see the uh, countryside to the north of Jelvan and the kind of rolling forests and jungle and the occasional splintering main roads that lead out of the Talent Highlands to the northeast. Um, you're more or less like keeping above the road as uh, the the path that you're taking is pretty similar to the one that just heads into the Hellcatch. So you're like aiming a little bit more southward to kind of cut across at the, the most direct angle that the ship can. I mean, I, I don't really know what that is, but it's not too hard to do the math, is it? It's because the solstice coming up. Yeah, in my 400 years, I've never seen anything like it. It has begun. But hasn't there been a, a solstice closer a, a couple times in your lifetime, at least? Perhaps perhaps uh, he's just so old he doesn't remember anymore. Oh, it may have right. happened plenty of times. Oh. It yeah. hasn't happened with a key as built up yeah. as the we're one. Also, we're also just in one place. As we keep flying, maybe we'll see it change or, or fade or it might give us a, a sense to what it might yeah, be. I guess I wanna... based on your age, you may have seen something like this, but it was stronger a long time ago. Uh, as you were in the, the northern kind of uh, yeah. region of Wild Mountain, which during this, that time of year, which you recall, the, the sun was low a lot longer through the day, and so your nights were more ex, you know, extended. And during that time period, you indeed watched these like shifting colors, and they grew more intense as the days went on before reaching this incredible display, and they just moved, and then eventually faded over the next week or so. It actually does ring a bell, but I thought it just might have been the tea that I was having at the time, but (laughs) this is great. They've also, you know, they're calling this an apogee solstice. I don't think I really know what apogee means. Big, strong, important. Are you, I don't. Do you know. actually know? Or you no, I don't. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> I don't know. Isn't there like a definite? Isn't apogee like really? Let thing? me let me search my memory banks <laughs> and see if I can, if that's something I can do. I'm gonna search my memory banks and see if I roll an intelligence check. Yeah, download a dictionary. Do I have Siri in me? What is this check? Just roll. Add your intelligence modifier. Uh, boy, two. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have no idea. You You're so there. smart. All of us are just so smart. <clears throat> I am smart, I just don't know. Oh, geez, <laughs> it's like an apex. It's like the highest point of something, a culmination. So big, important, yeah. just like what I was saying. Exactly. So it's not like a Great. normal solstice, it's a, it's a big, it's a tall, big, Fatty solstice. What are we gonna do? Yeah, let's let's come up with a game plan here. We, we should we should contact people. We should prepare. Because we're heading towards something with oh, just a shit ton of giant old automatons and armies. We need weapons. And we gotta break this thing down. We need allies. We need allies. Who could, who do we got? Estheros dead. Oh, Rin fuck. frozen. <laughs> Was the tempest busy? Mm-hmm. Well, anyone from the Grim Parody, obviously. We could. Are they around? No, they're on a different plane. They're on the they're, fire plane. I mean, well, some of well, them they... are on the Shadow Fell, and Jesus. some of them are on the fire plane. But did we ever check in with them, by the way, How? to see if Not the after... Shadow Fell team is doing okay? No. Okay. So that's on the roster. How badly do we need this? Need what? Need what? Allies? Allies, things, people. Oh, yeah. badly. Uh, bad. Real Your fucking favors. badly. Oh, I can I, see I, this is mm-hmm. going somewhere. Oh. Yes, you should. Okay. Wait, is this you're calling in the rich lady? Hexum. I'm calling in Hexum, and I got one other one I can call in. But what can she? Is she on the way? Can we pick her up? What? She's not on the way, but she knows fucking everybody. Who's the other one? Maybe she would well, know something. How far are we? Are we closer to where we're going than Drusar? Yes. Yes. 
It would take from where you're heading now about this a little, a little longer to get to Drusar. Okay. And then to go from Drusar to where you're heading, it's another like. But we're passing six days. Over-ish, Bosserus. Wait. Oh yeah. Who's the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. You got to talk now. I can try and dig up the nobodies. The nobodies. That's his whole group. Oh, that's right. What if we recruited that hive mind and Bosserus? Justy. <gasps> Justy's a lot. I don't know if you really. Well, if we're dealing with automatons. I could try to dance Maybe we need again. a lot. Bunch of connected motherfuckers. I still have the weird bag of drugs that Justy gave me. That I, connects us to I've the I've never hive. tried that yeah. stuff. I am. Wait, there would have probably been yeah. a time in my life where I would have been really into that right now, but I don't know. It's there. I did have another idea. Someone, probably the only other person who really knows how to work these Malleus keys. Vex? Ira. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. You just seem cool. <laughs> you know, Ira doesn't yeah. seem to have many loyalties to anybody, and. Um, it we certainly know what well, we can message him. Yeah, no, I and mean, he might, might serve his purposes yeah. to fuck it up. Yes, because he certainly doesn't like the Cerberus Assembly. We did get that. That's all right. True. You know, we could Jenny, also. Would you be okay with that? Uh, yes. Okay. As long as we're just guarded in our ask. Just in case he has sold out, I don't want to give away anything. I wonder if he'd do it for People. shits and giggles or if there'd be a high price tag. There would tag. be a price. I'd rather play a price you know what you're getting. I'm sure he'd want something from it. Vex's husband, remember him? Ugh. He was the yeah. inventor. The yeah, no, I yeah, know yeah. that he was a real asshole. Could right? be good to have an inventor on, on our team as well. Right. I don't know, just putting it out there. Piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Lord and Lady Ugly Whitestone, too. whatever they're. Lord and Lady of. Not Whittleton. so smart. That's I can make shit with let's, metal. Mm. Let's try and come. Let's come up with a list of people we don't owe. Let's find a list of people who I owe us. Said, a list of people that we don't know. Well, that too. <laughs> but know Ira might be. Ira, Ira's an option. I don't people. know what Justy could do, but Haven we could ask. Mm -hmm. I could look up the uh, the old crowd. You. But who did we? And we need stuff. That. Who did we t who did we report that Estras had died to? What was her name? With the uh, oh yeah, oh, um, she can she can she, uh, tree jump. No, yeah. not her. Not the one that can tree jump. Uh, oh, uh, not not Shania, Shania Twain. Twain. Mistress. No. Uh, Miss Shasha. Sh 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 oh, wait, oh, that's it. That'd be worth a reach out. I think. Sh Employer of the Green Seekers. I may not care, but oh, the green. What about yeah, the Green Seekers? But they're like. Dicks. Also, is this for yeah, them? but they're strong. You know, they have really, you know who's really strong hmm. and really great? Nanamari. Dorian. Oh. oh. Dor. Uh, Why haven't we told Dorian, Dorian what's going on? I told him a little bit. Yeah. You have yeah. a little. I don't know how we get him here, but maybe how we'd get anyone, and also anyone we want to get involved. First, what's the plan? I don't know. <laughs> there, everyone's gonna. Not everyone's gonna hop an airship. Not everyone can get there, and then what? You barely know what's going on. We're giving you a 20 second message to brief you and meet us yeah, out in the hole. If we called Dorian and said, we need you, you know he'd be here as fast he as he could. could. He's, a, a he's far away. He's portal or find someone to yeah. teleport him. Does he know your, um, sorry, the voice of the Tempest? He's met her, but she's, she's out and under about. or something, right? Yeah. At the very least, the more people we get the word out to, to, the more it's possible that they can do whatever they can from where they are. So, Dorian, oh, that's your old good friend. Ultgar. Yeah. Ultgar? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you mention oh, him Ultgar. once? Oh, yeah. Your old pal? He's, he's not my pal. Oh, okay. yeah. He's the one that. Thought he was a Should we just boss. take a side note and do chat backstory <laughs> instead of doing this? Look at the sky with fucking focus, people. <laughs> What's happening? Either the two of you. He's a very Nana. talented MC. Nana. Nana. Nana's always an option. But will she actually come she's... over? I mean, I she imagine she could. Nana a minute. I imagine she could. So is this going to oh, be like? We called in a huge What's favor with way? her on the other one. She's That's on the way. Nana. Is Nana. She'll do anything. <laughs> the hive mind. Dancer, Justy. Imahara Joe, who can give us a car. Oh, he was the shit. Okay. We can pick up a car, well, maybe, drive it there. What would we what, do with a car? What would we do with a car? It's a giant hole in the ground. Just imagine this. Just imagine this. The skyship descends. 
all right? Dust flying everywhere, wind blowing everybody's hair. Mm -hmm. What's that in the sky? The front of the sky ship, I don't even know, know if we have one of these, but the front of the sky ship goes you. down like that. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom. The, the car just kind of jumps out carrier. over, and we're like, vroom, vroom, vroom. and then straight into the hole straight and crashes into, fiery straight, at the bottom. No, straight down into the. It, didn't we see like a, a, a ramp down like that? And we're just picking off guys left and right and firing things and blowing off magic, and it's so fucking cool. And then the car crashes, but it doesn't matter. The damage has been done. Feels a. Feels Last a, time we did that, cool. several of us died. I just the damage cool. was done. <laughs> Really? We could also ask my parents, since they're already sort of... No one's on the car driving. idea anymore. Well, maybe they can get the car and they can <laughs> drive in. <laughs> I'll also say maybe maybe Joe's got something else. Yeah. Joe, I don't Joe. Dusty, things, I have a few other parents. contacts I haven't used in Bosphorus. I could talk to Pocket. I could see if we can find the nobodies. I got people. Yeah. We can buy some shit. Who all was in the nobodies again? Milo? Milo was the only one that you got met. There was a um, Milo's very Zealand, I liked, I liked uh, Shady Sally, Bennett, Shady and me. Sally. Shady Sally. Right. Bennett and Maybe it's a matter and of contacting Milo, and Milo can contact everyone else. Oh, that's smart. Or Milo, Shady Sally, Bennett, My and only who? thing is, is we've got uh, a very Zealand. long list. We've got Zealand. only nine days and, <laughs> and a limited amount of times now. we can call people. And, and we also, tell them Matt what? has to change characters for each of these sendings. You guys figure that out, too. I'm prepared. Another thing. To How, point you're the out. only one at this table, clearly, who is prepared for the for the solstice. <laughs> I'm just putting it right there. Just something else to put out as well. Fern, um, what do you think would happen if we mixed Maury and Ira together? They'd oh, be they fucking know. on the field, is what Probably. would happen. I mean, it could be. Sorry. I, mean, <laughs> I don't I think, know where I want. I think they know. had a thing. I think they had a thing. I don't know. Did, was did we, but they could. They'll figure it out. Listen, I feel like people. We'll put stuff aside. Right, this is bigger than this everyone's bigger petty than... squabbles. Yes. It's much bigger. It's much bigger than past relationships gone bad. Yeah. Okay. Maybe new beginnings, you know? But something I did just want to toss out there real quick. Oh, you are. We... dislocated. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, something to keep in mind. Odahan is fucked up. Yeah. As so is the Cerberus Assembly, and we saw just a little bit of what Trent could do. Uh, I don't. I'm just wrong campaign. Lutenus <laughs> to left. Fuck. <laughs> um, no, it's a mighty nine announcement. It's clouding my brain. Um, yes, yeah. yeah, so I just you know, I, I I I just want to throw it out there that we, we might be asking people to come and die. Mm. Yes. So they're gonna. Shit's yeah. gonna get weird anyway. You know, the whole moon potentially being a deity eating being. Yes. Yeah, like you're gonna die anyway, so don't Go you wanna die trying to, you know, do but the also, right But also, this we should, we've made a list. We should probably, you know, yeah, I feel like there's money check it twice, let's figure say, out who's been naughty or nice. Let's say we oh. double, let's say we, oh, like boy. something you might be interested in. Let's say what? I really? I lost track of what, uh. Yeah, that was, that was not okay. Sorry. Maybe, yeah. Where'd maybe. you go there? Just a realm of crossing. Uh, let's say we quadruple the number of people who can help us. Like, what are we? What are we going to do to make a difference once we get there? Are, are All we, we know how to do is Are break, we parking five miles away and sneaking in? Breaking is a good. Vroom, 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 vroom. We literally <laughs> like. Do we have to? Because, what do we do? Charge in? Well, we have to get eyes on it first. Right? Maybe if he doesn't give us a, 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 a vehicle, maybe Imaharajo could concoct some sort of a bomb or something for us. Yes, yeah. if we charge in head first, we yes. die. When we, we were in that see. dream, and we were moving into the sinkhole and mm -hmm. moving down and in, was it a, a focused vision, or could we have seen like inroads from like topsoil down into the sinkhole? Did we notice any? You mentioned cranes, but I don't remember if there were. There, there is. There are walkways oh, that spiral down into the walkways. interior of it. I mean, it is an excavation, so people had to be able to travel into and out of to, you know, pull out earth, dirt, dust, rocks, as well as artifacts and ruins, and you know, be able to be part of this excavation before it was taken over by Ludinus. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Here's an idea. Please just let me finish. When we were in the dream, Looking at those other automatons and the sort of the architecture of the place, it, it reminded me a lot of of myself. 
I'm just wondering if we could have Imahara Joe fasten me with something explosive and I sort of just go in and sort of act like I'm part of their automaton crew, get in, hit the button, blow up, and then and that's then, it. And then lose yourself? Oh, wait, well, no, 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 there, no, there might be a way to, hold on. you know, reconstruct me after the fact or um, something. Are, are, I also are, have are, an idea. Are we finished? Are we, are we good? Yeah. That okay, then no, include. but also, tele, like, yeah, tele. Well, yeah. here's, okay, what if, guys, in the Hellcatch Valley, Y'all remember one of the creatures we fought? The one chasing after its baby? Mm, worm. Oh, yeah. Mm. The dust oh. drive. I have a, I have, I have mm. one of their uh, mm. pincers or, or tusks yeah. or something. Yeah, they burrow deep Ooh. underground. Mm -hmm. We almost carried one with the skyship. Yeah. What if we find a way to burrow under? <gasps> Hit it from the side. We could charm it or something. Charm yeah. it. Who's good with animals? Are you? Yes. Do you have okay. Are you monster really, though? Really it's not, it's not an animal yes. though. It's a I monster. Am it's a monster. Amazing. It's a monster. It's a monster. I have. I'm not animals, obviously, but monsters that does anything. I was able to communicate with it at the time. I don't. Oh, that's right. Commu like you could communicate with it, or you could feel what it was feeling. We would have to travel with it a long way because if we fly in, oh we're God, moving days. target in the air. So we have to. Land way early and then get what I mean. That's the reason for that. That sounds fun, to be honest, but we'd have to get it from 50 miles away. Yeah. I don't know, it just felt like. That's an interesting idea. I'll, I will say the, the camouflage part of that of, of that idea, though, is not insane. Not the blown yeah. out part? But, but uh, yes, yeah, to well, Ashley's point, horse. yeah, you might be able to at least take something in as a delivery method. And they're, and they're ready for a bomb. They are not ready it. for. They did see you. They could cover you. I mean, we could cover you in another Maybe body. Maybe uh, Joe could, could sort of make some sort of a, a distraction. Because yeah. you were similar to them, or they're the same size? No, not same size. Yeah. But the ones similar. you saw, they were like 15 feet tall. These like massive automatons that were just kind of. <laughs> Hulking but around. you said that like the architecture or the design of the area was familiar. Well, there, there were heavy ruins in the space that weren't familiar to you, oh. but but the construction of this central Malleus key, it was much larger, much more, uh, much more, much more fortified. Let's say fortified is the word I'm looking for, and the overall design of its fortification and the tech that you could see that it's based on was very reminiscent of. Elements of your memory that you've been able to recover. It's bone fine. And we know that these ruins are pre calamity ruins. You were told by Playwriter in that these were uh, Tristan ruins, which was kind of a mysterious historical um, right, like, culture that that, right. that that followed ley line nexuses and built ruins around them, and that's what this excavation was about. Nexuses. Like an, like the kind of ancient aboriginals of this area. More or less, is. yeah. What was the thing, what was your your headpiece mask that you found? Yeah. That wasn't the same people. These were different people. No, that yeah. was the... Sorry, I'm just trying to get it? everything. Sorry. It's okay. Um, yeah, that's the whole conversation. I believe... Yes, we soon got that. We might have talked about this at one point, maybe, but to have an, an inside man would be great. Your mother. Yeah. She, would she do it? Oh. She give I don't know. Yeah, I survive, Mom. She always cuts it short. Feels like you have to see her in person. Maybe, but God, if I can catch her when she's sleeping. You keep trying. And maybe you could say, like, we're coming, it's happening, we're gonna fuck up some shit, are you with us or not? Yeah, I gotta try to pull her back. I, it feels like she she doesn't have a choice, you know, and she's trying to keep us away. Imogen, um, you keep getting spotted during your dreams, right? Yeah. Are you able to look around and see if anybody's doing the same thing to you? I tried it after our, our 
last. But the air is different now. I don't know if something might be more clear. Mm. Everything's still the same, right? It hasn't there hasn't been yeah. any shit. It's, it's just very, very charged, charged, you know. Um, I think sure. Maybe. Let me. Uh... Oh. Let me just step away from everyone. I'm gonna try to get away from the group <laughs> a little bit, and I'm gonna open my mind up and see if I can sense anything around. Okay. Um, you open your mind to the space around you. You do not sense any other presences, which leaves you at ease. Okay. Um, there is this very, very faint underlying, the best way I can describe it is almost like a static or a buzz that you haven't heard before when you've done this. This very like light, which just kind of rests on the periphery of your consciousness. If I look out at the, uh, the floating lights, does the ripple coincide at all with the static or is it just a constant like white noise sort of vibe? It just kind of feels like a constant white noise. I mean, there's kind of maybe some bursts where it gets a little louder or softer, um, but it's perpetually there. You know, I'm uncertain if the two are connected. Weird. In between you and you and you feeling things in the air, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, I guess that, Make who knows if there's a way to harness it? Use that energy. Well, maybe we should start checking off some of the folks on the list. Reaching out. Yeah. Do you have it today? I do. Uh, wait, have we rested? We did. We well, rested. Eyes don't work. Anymore. Yeah, you. I think you did oh, take what? it at the beginning of the day, because I'm down one of the spell slots. I got it. When we tried to contact Rin, or something. <laughs> we haven't slept since then. I think no. we all know who are the first person we want to reach out is to, right? Dance. Ira. Imaharja. Oh, yeah, I was going to say Ira, but those Ira, are also Ira's good. Ira? Ira. Yep. Ira feels. Ira is the best start. Okay. Yeah. All right. I hate these kind of plans. Tell him I said hello. <laughs> I will definitely um, try. <laughs> oh, I got to think about what we're going to say here. <coughs> How much do we fill them in? Howdy, How much y'all. It's a little late for subtlety. No, I, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Yeah, you're good at this. Mm. And the silence is what can we offer him? Isn't he, isn't he in, in this for money or is he in this for power? I nice. think he'll get out of it what he wants to get out of it. He could walk with something from that Malleus key that doesn't, we don't give a fuck about. Where is the, what's the, the, the valley, what's the excavation us. site? The, Tishan, the Tishan. Tishan excavation, yeah. T-I-S-H-T-A-N. He's, yeah. he's been to the excavation site? He's been there. Yeah. Didn't he d help deliver gear there? You're uncertain. He, he was he was present for the creation of the Fey Realm one, and that was the end of his relationship oh. with them. Um, you do recall that the device that he built in the Callaway hideout, um, Seem to operate differently from the other Malleus keys, or the, the one that you've seen, and uh, the way it was described. Uh, and he utilized it kind of like an odd, flexible telescope to look to the northwest of where they were, to the west northwest. Is the northwest northwest the Tishtanishkavishan? It is loosely in the same area based on the conversations you've had with members of the Verity, yes. Got it. Okay. I would also think like we could probably ask what his intent is. And, yes, it, it's and at your discretion, you could hint at what we've already done. Agreed. Let me also, real quick, think. Enemy, my enemy, make sure. my friend, et cetera. Um, In 30 seconds or less. Uh, yeah. No pressure. I'm just making, just kind of quickly going over what we've learned from Ira before. And then we know how much time is left. Okay. What are you looking at real fast? I was uh, quickly just making sure if we know. Fucking, uh, fuck. When did we see that? Was that before the Heartmore or after? Fucking fuck is what I heard. Fucking 
Ugh, it was mind. after the heart more. Is it the heart more? Yeah. Star. There we go. Basarus, right. Yeah. Here we are, here we are. Yeah. Outside of Basarus. Uh, you can, we can go ahead and just go. Sure. Just yeah. go. No, 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 let's just watch you read. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Well. All right, I'm going to try to contact Ira. Oh, God. Very well. You got this. You got it, yeah. And I'm trying to... Get him to meet us there. I think we need to find out what he is intending. Just, I guess first, just, we're going to fuck up the Malleus key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in? Yeah, All right. Because it's not If so, away. where are you? Yeah, we yeah, can yeah. do that coordinating later. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ira, have some fun for you. We're gonna fuck up the Malleus Key at Tishton. You wanna play? That was so hot. I would definitely say yes to that, wow. <clears throat> When people respond to your sending spell, uh, it's normally like a, like a conversation that's kind of sourceless within your mind. This voice seems to creep up over your shoulder into your ear. Oh, really? All this time I thought we were on the opposite sides of interest. Curious how you intend to help. I'm listening. All right. He's interested. I think he wants to do it regardless of if we're doing it. So he might already have an idea? A plan? God. Does he have a plan? Is he well, already we going? Can, we can figure that out once we pick him up. Yeah. He said he wanted to know our plan. Yeah. Should I ask where we meet him? Uh, yeah, do we tell him our location and can he get close to that? Or do we just ask him where he is? Or both? I don't mind. Tell him where we are. We're passing over Bosserus and how long, Captain Zanus? Oh, and Captain Zanus kind of went sober. Oh, well, uh, if the weather is nice for us, maybe about uh, six days or so, six, oh, geez, seven days. Fuck. Oh. So Six days. days of doing nothing? This is so fucked. That this means... is great. Look, this here is like one of the fastest ways oh, to travel right. in Alexandria. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, like what you see. No, we're, we're you. very happy with just, we're just some gonna perennial go sunning in, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it really adds years to your life. <laughs> oh. oh, God, was this smell? Oh. Here comes the sun. <laughs> <laughs> What's that extra hole? <laughs> Don't you have she knows before? Oh. Wow. Just follow your nose. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> Just changing up the Alexandrian gnome lore here. <laughs> um. Okay. Passing over Bosphorus in about six days. Sure. It's fucking wait though. Where are you? Or. Yeah. Or Doesn't he or also like some bosses and six? Yeah, yeah does he? Let's take the Vantas. active. Maybe ask him to you watch him he vanish. Left. Tell him where we are. Yeah. Where we're gonna be, tell and ask him where he is or something. Or tell how. him to join us on the ride. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe, maybe tell him about the stuff in the air. Maybe, maybe he'll, he'll be know. interested by no, a ride on an airship. Yeah. All right. Hey. No bad ideas. Yeah, then, okay. then, All right. Then, then we don't have to Just blow through every ounce of our energy you have. Yeah. How are you? Okay. Um. Are you this guy? That's crazy. <laughs> Meet us. Ooh. So direct. <laughs> I mean, it Take is. off your shirt. We <laughs> just left Jelvon on an airship. Skyship in, in Matt's world. Oh, Skyship. 
Is that within your realm of capabilities? If not Bosphorus in six days. We're passing over Bosphorus in about six days. Lorna says hi. Lorna says hi. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Forget. <laughs> I've always wanted to ride a sky ship. Well, you know where to find me. Still in the place we last met. Hanging out with the Calloway. That's just north of Bosphorus? Yeah. That's actually north not a bad place bit to, dead, yeah. to have a little rendezvous planned. Yeah. yeah. Like All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. We're one for one. <laughs> okay. One for one. Okay. Yeah, great. Wait a minute. Oh, Didn't he ditch us? Didn't he bamf away at the Callaways? He or did. did he? He did. So, but he's back there now? He Maybe stole he the crown. He, he, well, he, so he the apparatus is still there. But Ira and my parents will follow. Okay. Who, was, who was the other person that was in there? There was another. Imahara uh, Joe's around there? Oh, no, the little halfling. The halfling, yes. Hang on, wait. He had a cool name. The Goblin, actually. Hondir is who you're talking about, right? Hondir. Yeah. Yeah, Hondir and. Who's also part of the Grim Verity. Correct. Yes, that's right. Who was told to stay with the Calloways. That is a good place to touch down, because if Ira is able to dance us around the flat disc. Alexandria, then we could <laughs> park the ship where it can't be seen and then get in close. And we don't have to deal oh, with the it's mess. It's just science, Chet. The mess of Balsaris. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I used up all of my third levels. That's what it? do you got? I got, I got a couple. Who am I, I can, calling? I can make it meteor swarm anytime, Liam. <laughs> I just. <laughs> After my perception, I can feel it going down. <laughs> oh, Mysterious geez, cataracts just coming on extremely quick. <laughs> do we want to keep? Do we want to keep contacting uh, morally ambiguous people, or do we want to get into like disappointing friends? Which direction do we want to go? Well, if you're wanting to contact Joe to make some sort of camouflage for you, if that's really going to happen, then he needs all the time he or can bomb. get. Joe would be a good. So you need to you need to hit up Joe so he has time to make something. And we should probably. See if we can uh, hire him to deliver to the hideout. Oh, yeah. yeah. And just to remind you, we already did the bomb. I think they're going to be expecting one. I, I don't think it's a, it's a great Might plan. Might as well have bombs. Yeah, just for that plan, for the tie it to FCG and send it in. I don't think, I don't think that tie it to FCG and send them in with a bomb is a great plan. I don't like that. Uh, no, but, but we could chuck some bombs call. into the hole. I'm still yeah. a little. I think we can do better. Already. A killing machine. Kind of a bomb. A killing machine. Like the inside, the little sparky that. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can self detonate. It's like a switch, um, right? Um, Just like kill, kill, no. kill. No. Well, I mean, we don't have to do that. I can be invisible and walk down there with a bomb, and then well, leave it, it, and then come back out. They got all kinds of magic that can see through so that. So do I, motherfucker. You have magic that can see through that. <laughs> no. So let's let's bomb will be final plan in the meantime because I got I will throw you off the edge of the earth. What do we want him to make for us? A bomb or a camouflage? Camouflage or like how would he know what to make? Actually, he hasn't seen these guys. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In Twenty-five words. I seem to. I, so maybe uh, he's got some idea about how we can. <clears throat> Drill underground. We were talking about drilling underground. I mean, mining equipment is a thing that exists. It's a giant junkyard. That will junkyard. take so much more than yeah. a couple days. And a week. Well, unless there's, it's the very least worth mm. seeing what's available. That monster. Aren't there fucking holes? There's sinkholes all through Hellcatch. Oh yeah. Really. There are. Yeah. Is this one of them? Mm. Uh, you don't know. But on the map, they're they're hundreds they're, of miles apart. It's not they like are. They're, they're, people have figured out we, how to move around these things. If though. we locate yeah. that monster. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Which I don't know how we would. But what? if we did, maybe Imahara Joe could make us some sort of a, a cradle, a carrying cradle for the for the sky ship. Well, you remember why that uh, that creature was chasing after them in the first place? For its babies? It had captured a baby, yeah. A baby. So what if we capture a baby? Kind of seems Okay. We baby. It'll follow us. Now. Okay, how do we capture a baby? Mm -hmm. People do it, though. So. Would I have any idea how they like, what sort of 
I don't want to say mining operations, but do people people clearly go down and explore some of these things uh, on occasion? These these uh, uh, sinkholes. Sinkholes. Oh yeah, I mean uh, there, it's a lot of different interests out there, dude. Because of the sinkholes, have, there's something odd about the occasional arrival of one, mm. and then the occasional vanishing of one. Interesting. Um, and some of them within have deep, deep set subterranean tunnels from a time long before that people are trying to study the source of. Many of them tend to be uh, Dustra uh, travel tunnels, and then some appear to be much older. So we might, there might be a way of finding out if there's some sinkholes next to the site, and there's got to be, people have done mining operations. It, it, is it possible to find something that it may not be able to drill fast, but a way of like trying to Mm -hmm. At least yeah. seeing if someone knows if there's any tunnels that come close enough to where we're trying to get to. That Could we ask can around. Imogen, you're essentially okay. uh, suggesting we kidnap a baby and then use it like an etch a sketch Pretty much. over top of it. <laughs> Why, yes, I am. We're, we're barely going <laughs> to make it in time if we beeline it. Like, we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to shoot holes in everything because yep. things yeah. are. I, Fucked. Um, I like the idea of trying seeing if there's if there's some way of getting close to it underground and then uh, and then finishing up that run. Well, you're you're right. Or maybe we should focus on the simplest plans first, and then like tonight we can do a dream and look for sinkholes around the area or something. Yeah. That'd be good. Just curious. We never went near the drowned city. Do right? we want to? You did not contact anybody Fine. else. Hexum maybe is is Captain possibly Fred. a good catch-all for. I'll try Joe sure. and just Joe ask if we can do a bomb. Well, all, on the we bomb. Use a bomb. We tried to blow up the first Malleus key, and that thing barely made a dent from the inside. So we're mm, talking about dynamite. Well, a stick of dynamite mm, is different than a full fucking. A lot, of course, I get that, but like you described that key that we're headed towards as massive, mm -hmm. so it's got to be massive. Well, yeah. well, well. Okay. From what you told us, I remember you have that arcane power accumulator in your body, mm. and it can detonate. If it's overcharged with arcane power. Right, that's how we took down the other one. That's how we took down the other one. So basically, you're already. A bomb. A bomb. So maybe we can ask Joe if there's some way. To make an overcharge situation. Yes. But yeah. it will, it'll kill FCG. Well, maybe there's well, a way to like important. chop off my head or something and keep no, no, my no. memories. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, hang on though. Why would hang that on. work? I don't know where my, you're right, I don't know where my memories are stored. I see what Fern is going for, though, because there were other little arcane cores that he had kind of hanging around his shop. We don't have to use you, but we could use a similar we still have some. something to maybe attach, like go around and attach them to the, I'm assuming this Malleus key is going to work. Do we, do we still have some of that rediduum, re, re, rejiduum, <laughs> green, powdery? Wow. Oh wow. yeah, that's stuff. You're welcome. Wow. I, don't I know love it when we all get rid of it. Yeah, you have any of it, right? No, no you, don't have you, you gave it to Joe. Delivered that to the to oh to no to the, the Lord and Lady. To Percy. They, yes. they took all of it, if I recall. Yeah, they or did. no, we we gave them some of it. I don't think right. we gave no, them they all. No, they blew of myself up. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> but Change I wonder if you could yes. just like <laughs> keep it on the table. I wonder if you could just suck in all the power, and then not. It'd be good for draining the the batteries if we got real close. I actually have an idea that. I think would work without anyone having to explode. Okay, what's that? Let's do it. I'll write it down. Okay. okay. Captain Zandis. Yes, what can I do for you? The, the drowned city. I'm just looking at this map that I, you know, look at every night before I go to bed. Um, why do they call it the drowned city? Have you been over or above it at all? I, I kind of sort of went around it. It's it's an archaeological dig, but it's not much of a city anymore. It's old. It's uh. Apparently, drowned. I mean, I try not to fly over the Hellcatch too much for uh, obvious reasons. Don't let you all. We just keep on going all over right, it. It's just it's a party. An archaeological dig, like like like, like open mines or like sinkholes that have been mined. I don't know. What you? What's what what's happening in there? Well, what? in this so in this map, Tishton is. We're going this way again towards Basos, right? Essentially, but yeah, we're kinda, like way over here. Oh, you're like south. Or we're south coming like, up north. Yeah, kind of, kind of like, uh, if you're looking at it this way, mm -hmm. you're coming from the Talon Highlands, which is the, the southwest of where it is. Yep. So you guys are coming up over those mountain ranges, kind of over to Basaris, and more or less 
the from what you know, the area to the northeast of where Basaris is, kind of on the northeast part of the map, is kind of the loose area you're heading. Mm. Okay. What's it? Is it? What's this? Is that it? That's a sinkhole, sinkhole. or That's at least a, a recently known. But it's sinkhole. kind of here-ish. Or is it up up past this corner? Here, could be up in this area. Well, the drowned city's there, and an archaeological dig, dig seems weird. It's not like we have time to waste, but we have nothing oh. at the moment. We're wasting time one way or another. It just seems weird that they. It just seems weird that they ah. excavated. Sorry. Every once in a while, I get my youth back, and it's hard to resist. Every once in a while, Why are you I just, like that? Huh? What? <laughs> it's like Laudna, she just radiates magnetism mm -hmm. and horror. Um, I just figured that my, maybe we could take a look at the soil and how it was excavated and know if there are any like things that we can manipulate from the ground before we get there. If it, if it caves in, is it loose? Is there something that we can do to activate those big ass worms? I see what you're getting at. I mean, hey, everybody. So stupid. Holy shit. Oh my god, you put what's a even, GoPro on? But what's yeah. even more dumb is that it's not even on, is it? Is it? On. Oh my god. They can, they can trigger it remotely from the control, the control room. Oh, no. Yeah. It's too much power. It's too much power. Uh, <laughs> uh, to, to Chet's points, back on task. Um, <laughs> they're using this Tishtin excavation site for a reason. You mentioned that it felt familiar, the architecture. We know it's pre-Calamity. They're using this excavation site because it has obviously probably some sort of power, right? It's just like the one in the Feywild, they needed all of these little power chargey orby battery things. So I'm assuming they are using whatever is there in that excavation site to generate an immense amount of power. In stored batteries, which they've duplicated, it seemed like from that dream, but also if they're really hedging right. their bets here, you would also have a mainline power source, like a pipeline. 100%. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was trying to get at. Thank you, Chet, you're so smart. Thank you. Magnetism. All right, I'm going to call Joe. What am I asking him? For a bomb? <clears throat> On wheels. Okay. Let him know. <coughs> let him know the situation. <clears throat> Time is of the essence. Tell him we all said hi. Oh Don't. Time is of the essence. Fuck him. Tell him exactly where we're headed and the whole situation. If he has any ideas and that we do need to get in and fuck this thing up and that we're tempted to stop by this other site and take a look at it yeah, and see if Yeah, just let him know. We like, we're thinking about lean, heading over here, but we're also going to go over to this place. There's lots of Dollar. plans in One the goal. air. Um, you know, however he can help, that'd be great, you know. All right, I'm ready. Here goes. Oh, boy. Grass here. Solid. Need a bomb. Yes. Can pay. And a single rider vehicle. Fast. <laughs> Six days delivered to Callaway Getaway. Respond. He doesn't. He's never been there. <clears throat> and that's not. I have six more words? Yeah. What else can I say? <laughs> Any oh, of the things we discussed? Blowing up the Malleus key. Does he know? He doesn't know what a Malleus key is. Mm -hmm. Blowing up. Something. Something. We're all gonna end. Yes, yeah, we're all gonna end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a really, really, really big bomb. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. really, really big. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I can see what I can put together. We talked to Esmer or Verna. Uh, don't know the place you mentioned. That's it. I can follow up. <laughs> but, oh boy. Are we gonna, are Top we gonna? Of the list. Look at the sky, not fucking around. Do you want to die? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. How did you do that? <laughs> Sorry. That's some key poetry. That would have been helpful yesterday. <laughs> how would, yeah. how would really you find well the Callaway hideaway? It's maybe, hidden. Maybe the Callaways can, and we'll go pick it up. Got a hold of the Callaways. Oh, someone could. They've got some days. Maybe the Callaways can go get it. That's a good idea. Okay. Scratch that. Callaways will pick it up. Okay. 
They're not alive. And maybe some information about what's happening so that we can have a very smart person thinking about our situation. Please. Like what? There's a device we need to blow up? (sighs) There is, tell them about the key, where it is that we're going to be trying to fuck this thing up and that the solstice is going to be a big (gasps) deal. What do we? How would that help him make a bomb? I do. Uh... <laughs> may May I just? I don't even. Try to see if I don't know how I would know how to do this, but I want to just see if I feel if anybody's watching us. Fuck yeah! Make a perception check. Okay. So I just feel it in the air. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Bark. <laughs> 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 I was reacting audibly to something Talison was saying silently. I checked the scry ball while Oh, Frodo yes, Mark. Oh, yeah, good call. Nothing? All right, keep going. Thank 14. You. 14. Seems <laughs> <laughs> <Can you say? laughs> safe. Scientists were able to recreate one sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'll send another message to All Joe. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, second message. Scratch that. Callaways will pick up. <laughs> no, come on. What else? Look at this guy. Danger close. Make, paint a picture. I have to, okay. Do you see? The solstice will bring mayhem. Look at the sky. <laughs> With your eye. Wait, did you tell him how many oh, days? Oh, my. <laughs> how, how soon in he nine, to in make nine it? days. And we all say hi. We all say hi. Or is it 11 days? You only got three words. Laudna says hi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, that's a lot to process. Um, I'll look out for the Callaways. Uh, don't know how soon, but soon as I can. And that's the last to go. That's great. So honest. Forthcoming. I still got some more sendings if you want. Who else? Well, I guess probably are you going to ask them for bombs, or you going to days to travel too? Huh? Slot days to travel too. You could, yep. you can take them day by day sure if you want to, or you can do them all at once. Your call. No, yeah, I mean they will have to be day, day by day. day. Faster the better. Uh, but crossing them off the list as we get them. We've got Hexum. We've got Joe. The um. We can only contact Caleth. We've got Dorian. Grim Verity. Wait, can you talk to? Yeah. Okay, we can talk to him through the stone. You, you can't talk to people you don't know, can you? No, just that would be him. crazy. Only people that I. have met. I forget. I think if I, I have to be familiar with them. Oh, okay. So, so no. potentially. Um. Uh, Milo's yeah, I haven't. I, like, I was able to contact Fern's parents before I met them because uh, she told me about them. Actually, uh, so Hexum would be a good one. You don't know Pocket. Justy would be off the list. Um, Milo, let's hit up Milo. At the very least, Milo sure. might know where the rest of the nobodies are. Okay, Just and, and what am I saying to oh. Milo? What do I want oh, Milo I was, to do? Oh, I was going to have. I can talk oh, to Milo. Okay. I know Milo. Um, just can you reach out to the nobodies and, S- and we'll call you again tomorrow? Situation <laughs> dire. Army. We're going to be in Bosphorus in six days. I can't believe it, but I need to meet up with them. I've got a job. We've got a job for the nobodies if if they meet in Bosphorus in six days. Can he build stuff too? Milo, yeah, but the, they're not okay. anywhere. I'm sorry. They're not anywhere near where we're. They've been in Drusar for a number of years, as you have. Yeah, so. getting getting them to Bosphorus might be a little tricky. It's my turn. All of you. All right. To Milo. All right. Now. <clears throat> Milo. <laughs> Milo. Ashton wants their friends back. What's that? The nobodies reassembled. Oh, God. For a fun mission. No. Can you get as many of them as you can to Bosphorus? In six days. In six days? To Bosphorus. Do we have more or no? What the last In six. Is that okay. everything? Mm-hmm. Letters? <laughs> You're fucking with me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wow, you, you what a waste a of a fourth level sending. Can, 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 we, can we not do the, the the weird, like you're trying to date voice? I don't know. That was like trying to like 
Smiley Bay. Oh God. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking with you. We need them to get a hold of Justy when they get to Bossers. Justy. Justy. Oh, I think we need Justy them to get a, a hold of Justy and Bossers. Ashton is super serious. He's doing that face. Six days. Shit. Six days. Shit. Yeah. Is that everything? Shit's fucked. Shit's fucked. Thank you. They say. Uh. Okay. I can't get to Bastros in six days. <laughs> uh, oh, rest of I don't know where the others are. Okay. I can try. That's cool. Wait, why six days? Don't we have 11 days? To well, Bossers. six days to Bosserus. Oh. Who's <laughs> next? I got two fourth levels. You want to do right, well, that's also a good lesson at maybe trying to figure out who, who is the best people there? Yes. Uh, yeah, we could try Hexum. How is Hexum gonna get there? Uh, she won't, but she knows fucking everybody, and she's got people everywhere, and she was selling shit to them for the first place. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. Who? What is the directive? Get someone to Bosserus to help us? Why That's don't we really reach out to someone from the Grim Verity? That seems like something we really should do. Uh, because we haven't th hadn't thought of it yet. Is no, clearly why we thought, don't. Yeah, thought shit. of it like one of the first things we actually mentioned. That's actually, That's actually the first really on my list. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, same as mine. Grim Verity is right here on our list. It's number one. Number one. All right. Well, we know. Who do we know? Who do we know? Um, what's his? Butt? The professor. The oh professor. no, she got feeble-minded or something. Oh, oh no, no, no! But the, the 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 people who were um in, in the, the fire plane with us. Why can I never remember? I know, and it's name. a cute name too. That's an old guy. An old guy, Doctor Baron, oh, yeah, uh, the TV <clears throat> show. Uh, yeah. Can't hurt. Probably him first, right? Sure. The only reason I hit Hexum is because she does have people everywhere, and she may know someone that can get us some equipment, something like that. These notes, man. She knows I can't follow mine can... at all. I just have Orgrio, mobster. <laughs> Doesn't have a leg, but has a canku. <laughs> wow. Holy <laughs> shit. What is that? Wow. I don't know Are what that sure means. <laughs> I, I don't know if that says leg or something out. else. I think when our campaign's yeah. done, that becomes a coffee table book. Is what that is. <laughs> yeah. An ARG, where I'm trying to figure out your notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one would be able to. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be testing AIs on this shit. Oh, no. Someone has mm. a kanku? I don't even Who remember has a kanku? Anyway. There's yeah. A it's a kanker sword. It was a kanker sword. That's one. That might have been jet lag notes. <laughs> that's okay. So, yeah, let's, let's do, uh, let's do mm. Grim Verity. Okay, okay. I'll send a message to Evan Alt Kai. Very well. Um, See so if he knows how the Shadow Fell team is doing. Maybe give him an update that we destroyed the Fey Realm one. Yeah, because who knows what. And, and let him know about Rin. And let him know about Rin. Okay. And somebody night. count, because Chetney's got this future piece of tech going right now. <laughs> okay. You got this, you're very capable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think of. Just you have it, I was just thinking of it, so oh, Chet's got it, he's got it. Okay. I'm back. Hi. You were, I didn't know where you were. Let me roll a D100 real quick. <laughs> oh shit! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We destroyed the key in the Fey Realm. And I've seen the key here reinforced. How goes the Shadow Realm? Rin is taken. Need help? Days of Jester. <laughs> we still are waiting in Rin's domain. They can't leave. Fucking they can't duck. Oh, fuck. As far as I know, our compatriots 
went to the Shadowfell, but I have no idea of success. That's it. Oh no. Shouldn't we have a plane ride. ride. I'm out of there. Yeah. All right. I think I've got enough vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> Just counting on his fingers as his legs are in the air. And nose. <laughs> Shit. Wow, that sucks. They might be stuck there. Fuck. Unless they can find a scroll. Uh, maybe Ren has scrolls. That Hope they pack a bunch sucks. of rations. Mm -hmm. No grocery store. Shit. What happens when you get hungry in the Shadowfell? Is it like normal or do you get weird? They're the fire plane. The well, Who knows, but Ren might have gotten the other team to the Shadowfell. Uh, Holy fuck. That's true too. Yeah, we might be hit, you guys. And we don't know anyone in the Shadow. Team yeah, to reach no. Out to. No. Shit. Well, I have that idea if you want to hear it. Oh, I thought yes. you were going to write it down or something. You yeah. <laughs> so, it doesn't involve any of us, you know, getting close or blowing up, but in your dream, it was a sinkhole, right? Yeah, it was a big hole. Open air and near the bottom, along all those cranes and walkways, there was the, the key. Mm -hmm. More fortified, double power source but still open. Well, we're on a massive airship. What if we just crash the airship into the key? We could charge up the, the crystals on here. We have to steer it down. Why? Yeah. I've got Because it would be so glorious. Captain Zandis? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's just like not listening to the conversation. It's just like, did you say my name? Oh, never mind. Okay. I mean, we could create distractions and we could make redundancy plans and everything, but if really the fail safe is that thing can't work, it can't function. I doubt much will if you crash this fucking thing into it from thousands of feet in the air. I'm sure there'll be lots of magic and they've got to have some kind of defenses, but. I don't know. Unless there's a lattice work over it or something that we didn't know about. There might be. Well, we can do more scouting in Dreamland. I do think this is a good redundancy this plan. Is a very, I would rather have Joe working on a way of making whatever we do with this worse than any little, you know. Sure. I wouldn't rule it out, five though. people. Not at all. It's an interesting but idea. Making something to make this worse, yeah. We'll make it up to Captain Zandis. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, he'll be on the ship, right? <laughs> what happened there? Nope. I heard my name twice. We were saying it's just so smooth this time around. You can really feel the mastery of your craft. Oh, well, thank you very much. Just wait till we get to the Hellcat. You'll be changing your mind really fast. <laughs> that sounds right. You might too. Um, how, how fast can this go? About this fast. This is as fast as it goes. If it were theoretically, well, minutes. never mind. So we would have to sort of terminal velocity, yeah, obviously. We'd have to chop off all the things that keep it afloat. Right, a little the broomsticks. The, yeah, the the stones. Can't just point it down. And turn it turn off. The, turn the, turn them off. Can't we blast the the broomstones? Yeah. Like once we land, They'll some of us go. could be like gabouge. Well, if you if you let them go, they just go that way. Oh, so that's. We'll have to figure something out. I don't know, I'm gonna but think I'm about it. to just keep the broomstone if we're able to and let it go. Chain, chain the, I mean, if there's a way to make the. we could still use the broomstone on another well, boat. I mean, sure. if we, if we win, it, I mean, we'll And there are obvious, pl plan. there's problems with this plan, right? We yeah, saw Plane Rider Wren close to the key. Mm. We'd have to move that statue if there's any hope of, you know, saving them, so. There's got to be a way to, I mean, the fact that we're not flying up in the air right now, I don't actually know how these things fly. I should Maybe really look into that. over the next few days, a few of us should learn how to captain this thing. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. I can probably do it. I'd be in for that. Fern? Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm joining you for this, yes. I absolutely want to learn how to fly this thing. I think I've... I've done some boating before, so mm. I think. Someone, <laughs> whoever learns to fly it, maybe should be someone who can jump off of it, like, and not die, like someone can feather fall or, yes. or turn into a bird or something. I can't do yeah. that. Well, 
some, turn into something. Who all is down there? We know that you Rin is, them. and oh, yeah, Imogen's uh, mother Imogen's almost mother. definitely she's is, or is. Last I saw, yes, she's there. Hey, she's DM. Yeah. These ravines in the map, these guys. Yeah. If you were up on ground level, mm -hmm. are those that, they go down? Like that, Correct. In? Yeah. Some of them. Some of them are like gradual. Some of them are cliffs. Some of them actually kind of pull back in. A lot of them. Uh, a lot of them have just been there for a long time, and they've been cut deeper by like sudden monsoons and like heavy, heavy floods that carve through, and just kind of get dug deeper and deeper into the Hellcatch. And are they like tens of feet deep, or are they more like semi Grand Canyon deep, like hundreds of feet? Semi Grand Canyon. Wow. So another thing to consider is we don't also have. We don't have to attack from above where it would be easy to see us. We could go into those. Yeah. We could try. We could I mean, if we're close to the ground where shit's already fucked up in the Hellcatch, but you could Top Gun Maverick that ravine. Yeah, full, full is. Maverick. Up and over it's and great, in. It's a great star. You should watch Inverted. it. <laughs> Best Inverted. of all time. Can we invert this guy? Oh, shit. Shh. <laughs> because I was inverted. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. this is that does feel well, like if we do that, we would still need like a sky team and a ground team. Right? We're also relying on dreams. For, like, who all is down in in this hole? It's Rin and Imogen's mom, but Rin and Imogen. Rin and Imogen. Rin and Imogen. <laughs> is everyone who's there willing for their cause? Are they putting people to work? Are there innocents down there? You've tried pleading with your mom, but have you threatened your mom? I have not threatened her. And I mean, I yes, to, to Orem's point, we are talking about, I mean, there are gonna be casualties, let's be honest, but so. your mother, could you live with that? We've got to try to find a way to, to have a ground team. Yeah. If nothing else, then to get Rin out of there. Otherwise, people are stuck in the shadow fells. People are stuck in the fire plane. There's so many, so many lives lost if Rin goes down. I wonder if your mom could help Rin. Maybe. Yeah, it's very likely. There's gonna come a point if she doesn't join us. I despise the idea that that is a choice that is going to have to rest upon your shoulders. Would Mori or or Ira maybe have the power to break Ren out of her, uh, out of their state? Could we send a team in? Just grab your mom. Get to Rin, free them, and then Rin's our ticket out for Sky Team to unleash mayhem from above. Big magic heavy hitters. Yeah, that's depending a lot on Mori yeah. and getting Rin out. Well, and even if grabbing Imogen's mom, we know how powerful Imogen is, and we can only assume her mother is that much more powerful. If she's not on our side, that could backfire. We got Ira. Maybe. He's That's on. True. Do, yeah, do Ira and Ren have any history? Did Ren mention that they knew Ira? Or were, were aware of? Aware of, yeah. maybe, yeah. But Ira's got some magic. Yeah. Yeah. Is it worth it to find your mom in dreams again? That's what I want to. Make an offer and like. I want to try to do that. We put yeah. a pin in this for one day, yeah. one night. We did some good stuff today. We should go as fast as we can and do some dreaming. Maybe learn a little bit more about what's on the ground down there besides the robots. Mm -hmm. And we've seen Hotan and your mother have like tangible influence in the dreams, kind of, sort of, kind of. Mm -hmm. To an extent. It would be fucking badass if you could have some sort of tangible well, influence on whatever is going on. I don't know, the key, something, I don't know. 
your mom really actually is on the up and up, she clearly still thinks that this is some sort of negotiation where she can get you to leave. So I suppose it's time to make sure that she knows that that time has passed. She has to fucking deal. Yeah. And if she doesn't, she's... Well, then she's leaving you out in the cold, isn't she? Yeah. She's done it before. Yeah. But... That is what they do. You have the locket. Anybody else yeah. on the list we want to reach out to? Yeah, anybody last minute? Hail Mary? For the day. For the day. Dancer, the Hive, Hexum, Lord and Lady Whitestone, Shashandri, Maury, Grim your Verity. parents. Grim Verity, we just called. Oh, oh wait, that's right. Yeah, yeah we, we just, just did that. that. Let me put that. Shashandri, okay. maybe? Here. Actually, wait. I can't oh. do it anymore if I'm going to do the dream. Say, have somebody roll a d20 for me for your first day of traveling. Oh, travel. no. Do oh, it. Geez. Oh, go. Oh, jeez. I'll go. Put your I better roll put your ass down first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have left it up a little long. It's oh. hot. Ooh. Stay still. Eight. Eight. Okay. All right. The sky is pretty clear. Hey. The travel is nice and smooth. The winds do not batter the side of the skyship as you head eventfully. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> forward. But yeah, so the first day of travel. It's fine, and that brings us to. Oh, that's right. We could roll for like really great winds that like send us faster. That's possible, yeah. That's storm. if we roll we high. We don't know where those uh, numbers are. If it's we don't high know. or low or <laughs> dead in the middle. Or there's a chart we cannot see. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I hate charts you can't see. I know. Mm -hmm. All right. So that finishes your first day of travel in the skyship. Is there the anything charts. else we should do before the day comes to a close? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll uh, eat a cookie. Take out the stone. Been really that's going at that stone. Worm, that's a cookie. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Takes out the edible. Salt <laughs> breath. The <laughs> Dorian. <laughs> Stop talking into a cookie. Worm. Our jobs are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Update. People were chasing. Unleashing hell in a week. There's a crumb out of my mouth. That's not part of the message. Mm -hmm. We're headed there now. Odds not good. You haven't mm -hmm. said where. More tomorrow. Where are you? Do you have flame left? Do 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 do. Capital. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Orem, uh, with the rest of the Crown Keepers in Taldor, eh? The, uh, Opal's getting a little dark. Oh, shit. Little, uh, a little busy at the moment. I don't even know how to get to you. What are you doing to yourself? Why are you doing that? Voguing. Okay. Ow! No, that wasn't good. Dimaggio. Dorian's out. Do it. Dorian's out! out. Oh, you're so handsome. Well, On another no. continent. It was a long shot. I better not eat this, uh, I'll save it so that we can still talk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can talk to him every day. Yeah. Maybe we can talk him into finding a, a portal or something. Yeah, find something. So unglazed. I mean, if he brought all of them along. We don't have enough chairs at this table, actually. I know, I know but how cool <laughs> would it be? <laughs> how do you know? If you I won't, yeah, I like, won't it. They could be sitting in a, you're like, I, I know. That'd be, oh god, Matt, you could fit at least one person oh on your left and your right. So cool. Don't even. <laughs> don't He's like, don't. <sighs> you need a, like a cat spray bottle for us. <laughs> yeah, I know. What if we, <laughs> sit down. For years, <laughs> sit down. For years now. What if we just bring back every guest we've ever had tomorrow? Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Zara, this is Orm. <laughs> 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 Alright, what are we doing? Going to sleep? Dreamies? Yeah, getting ready for the night. That or, or do we want to just quickly drop something to Hexen? If we do, it'll use the. Oh, we've already gone. Okay, that's right. We're still in the. We'll wait till tomorrow. Okay. Are we going to so. try to reach out to my mom tonight? If you'd like to. It's the same time zone, right? It is night there. Maybe they. Oh, maybe they sleep during the day. <sighs> Because the moon, the Rudis is up at night. Uh, last time I tried to do this, <clears throat> she was. They oh. were. Uh, last two times I've tried to do this, it's been busy. When we go, and that's in the middle of the night. Boss, you want to stay up all night? Or maybe. What but time is, is it now? Thing? I mean, she was away. She was there once. Yeah, but if I hit her when she's dreaming. And Odahan Thule okay. won't be able to see us, won't be able to... I mean, Thule knows we're coming. I'm not too worried about that. I know, but what time is it right now? You want to try a different time. I mean, it, you guys have been traveling for the majority part of the day. Time is wibbly wobbly as we're doing this journey because it's just sitting on a skyship. So we'll say, whenever you want it to be, it's the end of the day. And uh, we'll be doing that for the next few days since you're just riding on the skyship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I could do this towards like early evening. Sunset. So hopefully, like before oh. Ruidus comes up. I'd like to. Sure. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna fall asleep, but I'm gonna try. I'll give you some chamomile tea that I cook inside my stomach. Mm. <laughs> and I stomach tea. I, have, I made a nice little. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ow. Does, no. it, does it beep when it's ready? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. And I'll pour out of the hole in your side. <laughs> oh. I'm a little tea. Uh, and I'm gonna make you a nice little, a uh, little cinnamon cookie. Oh. Just make you feel good at night. And I'll cast uh, this dream thing. And just because, Orem and Fern, you haven't seen this place yet, yeah. right? Mix it up. In astronaut. But too, we're right? not. I can only take two other people. Oh, okay. The goal here is 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 not to I'm go to that. Place. Just I'm trying to, to hit up my mom's dream. Sure, but I still, they haven't experienced this yet, so I'm bringing them if that's all right with you. Sure, yeah. We'll stay out of the way. Okay. I won't even. Oh. You Just won't even know I'm there. Listen, though. Having experienced it, if something goes poorly, just get out. Wake up. Wake up and force yourself awake. Because if something happens in Imogen, or if CG loses their connection, their tether, you could be stuck. stuck. What are we? What are we supposed to do to go in there? Just hold my hand. But before we, I cast this spell, enhance ability is not concentration. I believe enhance ability is concentration. Oh, it is. It didn't work. For, we tried that last time. It oh no, it work. did. did it, I did get wisdom. Oh, that's but right. But I did advantage. your charisma. A uh, charisma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't which think is, I should do that again because yeah, you're doing persuading. Right? No, you did wisdom because my perception, it was my perception. I'm going to do charisma this Const time. Okay. Because okay. you're trying to convince her to do something. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm enhancing her charisma. Okay. And, all right, I'll hold my metallic hands and just try to drift off to sleep. Come. I will vibrate in, in a nice soothing vibration way to soothe them. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So as, you are. Wait, wait. As the yeah. three of us are like slowly drifting down, uh, Orm's gonna uh, dozily look over at Imogen. Hey, if I had a daughter like you, one day, I'd be real proud. Thanks, Orm. If I had a son like you, I'd, I'd be real proud too. Well, I have a mom. She's pretty great. <laughs> well, my son's pretty great. I'm sorry? She's talking about the Oh, mister. <laughs> I thought you asked over a while. Okay. Do you your dreams? I tell it. All right, so oh, you yeah, are. I have five kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you are attempting to connect with Imogen's dream and bringing along Orem and who else? Fern. And Fern, okay. You cast the spell. 
You drift into a familiar unconscious space, holding on to the control that you're just beginning to try and harness. Now, previously, you've begun to push into your dream space towards different energies, being drawn towards locations, and this you're trying to directly connect to your mother. Yes. I would like you to make a, a d20 roll and then add your spellcraft modifier. So. Uh, for this, no, because this is you are sleeping with. It's good. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. So you add plus five. Oh, I charisma? thought it was my spell casting. Not spell. Not spell casting. My charisma sorry. modifier. Then. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Brain yes. Was a little weird on that one. Then uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-four is very very good. Okay. You concentrate just as the sun begins to set. I mean, and Ruidus is in the sky. It, 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 like both moons, you know, at different, different speeds do at times meet and cross each other during the day and night. But in a weird way, you feel like that empowers you in the moment. And as you try and concentrate, that kind of sense of redness surrounds you. You then feel this immediate this gravitational pull at an incredible speed. And then the red dust surrounds you. You stand there, drifting in the midst of the cloud, the familiar stay of your dream, the storm that chased you for so many, so many nights in recent times. You now stand in the middle, no ground, no field, no farm, just you and the motes of light that represent your companions as they are pulled alongside you. Whoa. A moment later, you watch as a shadowed female form emerges from the cloud. Arms and legs just mostly made of dark immaterial, like a spiritual being that is just beginning to push through the dust storm. And within a moment, the eyes open. You see the dark hair become a light purple. You see the shaded semblance of material just flapping behind, like she's half there, half aware. And the voice echoes in your mind directly. Imogen? Mama. Shattered form begins to take on more material as the focus of your mother begins to crystallize. The realization of where she is, who you are, and you watch as now an image of an older woman with familiar features to Imogen, but mature, longer hair a harder look, an expression that is a unique mixture of surprise and concern, as well as a coldness. Imogen, you shouldn't be here. I know you keep saying that. Tell me there's still part of you that cares. Tell me there's part of you that knows what you're doing is wrong. Why is it wrong? You want to destroy half the world. I think you misunderstand what's going on here. The world will be saved at the end of this, and we'll be free. The world will be eaten at the end of this, and we'll be gone. I 
wish you could see the things that I can see. Show me. You left to protect me? To find out more? She kind of drifts forward towards you, about a foot from where you are, and reaches out. Don't push me away. Do not and send me away. she touches your forehead between your eyes. There's a flash of light and images that cross past your mind. A massive glowing lattice in the sky, pulling apart as red fills the air above. Thousands and thousands of voices in unison around, and a sense of freedom. The cries of history snuffed in a moment. In the beginning, of something new and beautiful. Like endless possibility. Without guidance, without fate. Without this gift. And in a brief instant, you remember what it was like to not be like this, to just be you. She pulls her hand away, and you return to the core of this dream, and you see in her face this empathetic concern. I'm doing this for both of us, and he's doing it for everyone. I know change is hard. But we've been toys since the beginning. I wish you could understand. Wish you all could understand. And you, she takes note of the moats around you. And she puts her hand forward and <laughs> a flash of white light, and you all come up to consciousness inside the skyship once more. Did y'all see it? Mm hmm. You saw everything? Oh, well. Saw her, heard her. Did they see what I saw in my mind? You just saw her touch her forehead and then pull away. We heard her a little. You heard her speech. Yeah. What, what if, what if, what, what is if it's not that bad? I mean, what if, what if what we're doing is just fighting change? What if? Imagine I wish my family didn't have to die for her brighter tomorrow. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. I get a glass of water and a sandwich. I know how hard this has got to be for you. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I swear, I, I, I want it. I want to see this through. I do. It was just overwhelming. What she just presented this, this, this vision of love. This just didn't seem so bad. Um, but, uh, it's impossible. I mean, you you love her, and she. It's hard to love someone who thinks in a completely different way. Okay. Just go with me on this. What if? 
what if it's not that bad? What, what did she show you? Like, what did she do when she touched you? I saw... I saw the, the, the gate opening and red pouring out and, and just like all, all the burdens being pulled away like, I just felt free. about something that's never happened before. Did she show you the future? Or did she show you what she, she wants you to see and feel? She's probably showing me, but she's been shown. Or... It's all cultist bullshit, I know. She, she's been brainwashed and it's not real. And that thing up there is a god eater. It, it destroys. That's what it wants. It wants to eat. But he just wants to eat. It's it's selfish. Yeah, I mean maybe. We don't have all the answers, right? But that's very few. We don't, we, we don't know that. The other gods locked it away. You forgot about that. Yeah, about that. and the gods are good. No the gods are just thing. gods. Good. They're not bad, they're just fucking selfish. Everybody is fucking selfish. Oh, my God's good. The change bringer. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> Are we learning? Maybe <laughs> 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 I mean, phrased that wrong. No, no, I really don't think it's <laughs> it. <laughs> Are you neutral? <laughs> Are you bad? Oh no, are we in a Tom Stopper play? Oh boy. <laughs> what? Uh, wow, really? We went, we went to Stopper? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Oh, it, can be, it can be done by Luck Alone. Yeah. Oh boy, I feel like you all of a sudden. Another to the building of suspense. Uh, yeah. I get this thing checked tomorrow. All right, well. Uh, Ask okay. the change bringer if, if they want us to succeed. All right, I will. Yes. But we've already established that at least the, the change bringer they're on to us right they're now thinks they're, they're bad. A lot of communication. Maybe the change bringer's feeling guilty. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you start externalizing every fucking problem that you have. Easy to take a look at. There's a bunch of people who are treating other people like just like they're fucking nothing, like they're fucking pawns. It doesn't matter what the fuck they, they want, they are doing it wrong. It is not hard to see. You're being fucked with. We're all being fucked with. Whatever the fuck they say that they're doing, that's where I draw the, the line. If they had such a great idea of what the world was supposed to be and what that thing was, they could just tell people. But instead, they're making everybody miserable. They're killing people. Fuck that, fuck them, and I'm gonna be more than happy to drop a fucking ship on them. I agree with Ashley. I'm so sick of this shit. It's not a new plan, it's an old plan. It's a plan as old as the world. Leave a string of bodies behind for your better tomorrow. It's easy to make a nice world if you keep killing everybody who fucking disagrees with you. You can get down to five, it'll be amazing. Fucking utopia. <laughs> Well, good night. I'm gonna have a drink. I think Sorry, I'll join. That there's no need. Tobacco? No, Ashton <laughs> and having a drink. Oh, okay. I'm grabbing a bottle and going up into you the... You drink often, but it feels appropriate right front. now. Yeah. I'm gonna be at the stern, just checking out the sky, seeing if that's different at night with the air Ooh, so charged. <clears throat> With the sky dark against the backdrop of these flittering colors, you can now see the flashes of color you saw were just pulses along now a network of just faintly visible 
rivers in the sky of energy. The magical ley lines of Exandria are slowly beginning to glow with the approach of the Apogee Solstice. That's so fucking cool. Make a perception check. And they're all different colors? All the different ley lines are different colors? They they change as they go into the Can I use Hunter's Bane for advantage? Not for this one in particular. This this is just a lot. Horseshoes were fucked. Is that a D4? You can't do that as a perception? You can can do it on on, on, skill checks, but this is him on the stern on his own. 17. I don't know. 17. While while they're doing this and you're kind of keeping an eye over it, Swear it looks like they're ever so slowly moving. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like how? Like moving along the lines of the river, or like moving like, like clouds in like the sky, shifting like clouds in the sky at an almost imperceptibly slow speed. The lines they're into place. Mm-hmm. They're gonna overlap. Don't cross the street. And how totally are the moon the is? How's Ruidus looking on this beautiful night? So fine. It's same dull red self, the you know faint bit of, of of visible shadow with enough focus that you can see that passes upon it. It is not flaring. It is just looming over, sending a slight chill through your shoulders as you glance above it with the periphery glow of the visible Alexandrian ley lines, giving this contrasting beauty that just kind of dances along the horizon. At different distances. Cool. And Kath is chilling, right? Yeah. Cool. If you'd like to conclude this evening, this yes, other business uh, is done. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we'll right. Say wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm quick drink with Ashton. So okay. I am definitely downing a bottle, and uh, well. Are you all right? No. I was very well spoken. You know, you you have once in a. In a red moon, you've got a really good speech just chambered in there. I. I don't know, it's complicated. This is not the person I thought I was going to be. I am. Oh, yeah. Ashton. Who the fuck are you, and where the fuck did you come from? We don't really know. We know a little. <clears throat> but the most we know is that you were jettisoned from a portal and you became a rock and then you joined a band of misfits and criminals and did criminal things. That's about all we really know. That's about the all, all there is to know. I am... A blank slate. I don't believe that. (laughs) Well, you wouldn't. All of you have, well, with one exception, a place that you came from, people who made you who you are, all except for one, and, I hate you all a little, you know that, right? Are you jealous of us because you feel like we have more of an identity than you? I am jealous of you because I know things you don't. I know loneliness that you don't. I know the truth of people that none of you do, maybe one of them. I mean, you know things too, don't think I don't know that. I was also alone in the woods for 30 years. Mm. I know loneliness. I made a dead rat my best friend, so I wouldn't go fucking mad. I don't trust that rat, by the way. I think he's a rat. (laughs) You're scaring me a little, Ashton, and that's coming from me. How was, uh, how was the swings of uh, fear of dying again versus the crippling uh, obligation that you feel to everybody for risking themselves to save you going. I wasn't afraid to die, it was the latter. But now. It still haunts me. I mean, this is one of the few things that we have in common. 
is that we've both died. Do you ever think about that? How do you grapple with a sense of deep indebted onus? I literally pledged myself to one of the worst people I've ever met to work for them for years for a bunch of people I haven't seen since. I, I, uh, oh. what, uh, what, what was it like um, waking up and having them there? I just, uh, what, I wanna know what, was, what it was like to come back and everyone was still there. Genuinely, that is something you know that I don't. It was one of the greatest feelings. Because it wasn't like that the first time. And I've never known such kindness. I'm and maybe uh. Ashton. You should cut yourself some slack and allow yourself to feel the same. I'm, uh... I haven't opened up in a while. This group is strange that way. Didn't go well last time, we'll see how it goes this time. Although, you know, it may not matter in a couple weeks. Maybe in this last couple of weeks. We can both work on affording ourselves a little bit of forgiveness. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter in the long run. You know, I, I, I love you all just a little bit. <laughs> and you hate us just a little bit too. Yeah. What's with the fucking mask? That you pull out and stare at a little bit and that you, Wanted so badly to steal from that hoax did of a museum. You, did you, it's a helmet. And did you just, what the fuck is up with that me? Yes, I did. <laughs> give me, give me the drink. I take a swig first before yep. passing it back. There are rules. Oh. I have very little memory of anything that happened to me before the orphanage home whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, the, uh, I do remember people who may have been my, my mother and father, I don't know. I can't really, it's all a blur. They don't have faces. It's just an idea. I felt like that, I guess. Oh, who the fuck knows? There was an accident and uh, I do remember that. I remember there being an accident. I remember watching somebody who felt like family just get just torn into pieces, just absolutely ripped apart. And then I was in the desert, and I don't know how I got there. I don't know how I got to Basaris. I was just found. But the one word there was one word that stuck in my head and always stuck with me and I didn't think it mattered. I didn't know what I would ever do with it until I saw it on a label beneath a cheap suit of armor. A stupid fucking museum filled with bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit. But this, this fucking helmet was the first time I saw the word Hishari. That's actually why I'm even with this group. So I heard the word Ashari randomly and thought maybe I just had a fucked up memory. I've just been waiting, hoping that I could indebt everybody enough that maybe people would help me once I helped them. Because that's how the world works. Although I'm getting a little weird here, I will admit. So yeah, that's that. And 
you've got your powers after you had the potion goop poured yeah, in your head. My, my extremely useful damage, yes. Useful damage. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, it's something else we can relate on. It's very true. <laughs> well, let's keep figuring it out, shall we? And then maybe you don't have to be so jealous of us for knowing our past. I'm a little worried, but I'm a little, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, if we survive, if this goes well. You keep saying Ashari. Drashari? Hishari. 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 He's drunk. Hishari. I don't even have my retainer. It sounds a lot like Ashari, like Orum shit. It's he said it once and then I was in. You haven't talked to him about this? Not yet, no. Maybe you f what? Maybe you should! Now? We're gonna be on this boat for another fucking week. <laughs> Seems like a great fucking time. We brought it up at one point. And uh, we did bring it up at one point, if I recall. I know that there's information I have that I shouldn't. Mm. Or, uh, Jesus. I'll let him know, but I'm not ready for that yet, I guess. I don't know. You I said don't... You so yourself we could be dead in 12 days, so. Yeah. I'm not spending that 12 days trying to figure out shit I don't even know if I want to know. I'm spending 12 days doing my job and keeping you safe and making sure that everyone deals with their bullshit and hopefully keeping FCG from... Exploding himself. I mean, honestly, more than exploding himself, exploding everybody. Yes. And not because of the stress thing. I've been spending, spent way too much of the last chunk of my reality trying to convince that bloody robot to not sacrifice themselves at every waking turn because they're going to get everybody killed in their desperate attempt for martyrism. You can't trust somebody who just wants to die all the time. And I love them, but they are very dangerous and not for the reasons they think. <sighs> this is all pretty rich coming from you. I know, right? I love a project. I am a project. You are. You're irritatingly stable for someone who's so clearly fucked up. I don't know how that works. I'm, I'm happy to know you. And I'm looking forward at some point to getting punched by you, but I don't think this is the evening for it. But my every bone in my body would break if I punched you. Oh, you've got powers. <laughs> Why don't we get to bed? You're a little um, uh, worse for wear. That's very fair. I somehow managed to help Ashton back to bed, even I'm though I am good at this. <laughs> strength of four. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to pull Orem aside. Okay. Well, yeah. Hey. Um, so, that, that, that dream thing was weird. Um, but I. I don't really know what I'm asking you, but what do we do if Imogen decides to go to the other side of things? Uh, he hops up on your shoulder so that he's right there. I'm thinking the same thing, too. Um, I'd like to th I think I have faith in her. I don't think it'll come to that. But if it does, Fern, are you with me? Always. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, me too, me too. It'll be totally fine. I just, I just, we just gotta, we just gotta watch our, our girl. Make sure. Yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. This is so not a big deal. 
this is, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be great, it's gonna be a success, and... Whew. If it does, if that moment comes in the middle of hell, I'll do my best to get her attention. You're gonna be the one who has to do the thing. I don't know if I can do the thing. What's the thing? <laughs> I don't know. Put her to sleep. Hold her up. I'm quick, I can knock things out of the air with a shield, but I'm not as strong as you. And she's strong, so. I don't know if any one of us is as strong as her, but it's fine. I think I just, that was, that, that was weird. That whole dream was weird, her mom gave me the willies. I pat her on, uh, on your other shoulder and say, they gave us about a 5% chance overall. So the good news is Imogen is just one of many problems. That's, that's a higher percentage than I was thinking, so we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> like a little flea. Yeah. 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 As the tension of the evening's conversation sits palpable across the cabin of the sky ship, the Silver Sun, and the tension that rides across the arcane energies that swim through the atmosphere of Exandria above, another night of your journey comes to a close. The solstice is in 10 days. We're gonna go and take a break. Get <laughs> back here in a few minutes and pick up this journey. See where we go from here. See you in a few minutes. In your heart to chaos. I'm either very unlucky or cursed, and I don't believe in luck. I am your god. Long may I reign. I want to unlock these mysteries. I want to dive as deep as I can into that ocean of the unknown. I am of the Empire, but I am no friend to the Empire. I protect him. He's my boy, and I keep him safe. You need me more than I need you. We may be heroes that no one knows about. Mighty Nine, all new original series coming to Prime Video. Exactly is the plan against four dragons? Fuck shit! Ah! Uh oh. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Ah, I am very flammable! <laughs> 
How about we get a drink? <laughs> I hope you fall into lava, asshat! Oh, that's a new record. Usually it takes us ten minutes to get kicked out of a palace. Vox Machina. These weapons were created to strike down the gods. Find them to defeat the dragons. We don't have that effect on people. Yeah. We're trying to save the world. Uh. Look out! You are super fucked up. That's new. We need to get inside that dragon. Through a mouthful of acid, no way. The other way. Oh, God. The Legend of Vox Machina. Watch now, only on Prime Video. My balls are ice cubes. What are you Don't you worry, Uncle Grumpy is gonna I, keep I, you warm. This is actually kind of cozy. A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, we go. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. It's so cute. I can't handle it. The cuteness, it's overpowering. You need this? You probably need this. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. This is, this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have, like, so many cool things right now. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now.
Amazon Prime member, you get one free Twitch subscription to a channel of your choice through Prime Gaming. So why not use that tranquil little freebie on a Critical Role subscription? Just remember to resubscribe every month. Oh. Ugh. Am I doing this right? Or Oh, sorry. Um. Am I doing this right? You can also gift subscriptions to fellow critters. So what are you waiting for? Start spreading that sweet serenity with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role. It's like a warm blanket. Oh, oh hold on. It's my proctologist. Just give me a second. Okay. Hello. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, hey, Doc. Yeah, what, what's up? What do you mean more teeth? I thought you got rid of them all. Well, no, you don't tell me to relax. I'm the one with teeth up my- Subscribe. And welcome back. So, beginning the tenth day, you all return to consciousness upon the skyship, Silver Sun, heading towards the eventual destination that you've chosen. What do you wish to do for the day? As we, this, this journey itself can begin to rally into a rapid succession, but. Go. Do we need to roll for weather? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do that, actually, as the day progresses. Uh, Still wants to roll a d20. Is that to me? Yeah. Orm's doing goblin um, squats. That would be Marisha, or your turn. Uh, yes, yeah, no, that's right. Yep. By the way, guys, Shit. just last night I had a little bit of an epiphany. I know why the change bringer was messing with me with the coin flips. Oh, yeah? It's because I was asking about the change bringer. Gods are mysterious. They don't want you to know anything about them. When I ask about myself, she gives me good advice. When I ask about her, she's not going to answer me. She's a god. Right? It feels She's just like messing that with made me. no sense whatsoever. Deep, I agree with Ashton. No. Eleven. Eleven, all right. Another day with fine weather, though that same aurora continues to greet you in pretty much all directions. Um, but a day's travel without issue. You are beginning to see the edge of the Talon Highlands now and pass we're, we're by the, yeah, the Highland Bluff and the, the mountains there. Uh, and you can see the distant dusts and dunes and craggy landscape that is the Hellcatch Valley approaching before the end of the day, most likely, or at least within the next day. So, 
any other business for the day ahead of you. Do we know anyone <clears throat> deeply religious? Right here. Besides, letters. Uh, besides you, anyone? Praise be to her. Uh, uh, do you know any clerics? A any high right order paladins or stuff like that? <clears throat> Somebody who would who would fare to lose a lot Wrong. if the gods go away. Why do you need convincing? Right here. No. <clears throat> But if we're looking for powerful people, yeah, that will actually what? help us. <clears throat> that Pike person. Yeah, that Baker. Oh, oh. she was. That's right. That was so right. powerful, my God. <laughs> That's right. My God. My God. We should what contact about... her. And say what? God stuff happening. Yeah. Can you stop baking for a second? And... Help us, oh powerful mm -hmm. one. Okay. They're gonna release the God Killer. No mine's very no They've built the key, right? <clears throat> yeah. Remember that 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 person that 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 helped with um Esh Eshteros? That was all like beautiful looking. Oh yeah. Was the one a, that was like? I mean, I know she's in. That could talk to dead people. Yeah. Right? Was she a? That doesn't. Was she? A, <clears throat> no, she. She was. Was she? A, uh, she was. was she, Sorry, I'm was she? She was. No, she was. She, she was, was right. Like, was she? Yeah. But she's. But was she? <laughs> yeah. Yes, they do. The Who did she work with? Did, you, did she? Was she? Yes, they do. Not did you? I just really liked her. She was cool. I know. We never talked to her again. She was so cool. cool. Want me to send to Pike? Or sure. Do or do you want to send to? Are we still contacting Hexen? Um, I think I got a plan. Let me get, like. Going over something in my head and tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Fine. Either one. Oh, who? Oh, Idea. okay. Maybe see if her other friends. You're a cleric. Right? She's a cleric. Sure. All right. I will send a pike quickly. Okay. <clears throat> Boy, will she remember me? You remember. Robot holy person here. Big God stuff going down. God Eater about to be released on from Ruidus on the solstice. We need your deific help. Research, reach out to us. Uh, uh, Ludinus. Ludinus is in charge. Ludinus involved. Peace be with you. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay. Robo buddy? Uh. <laughs> Let me see what I can find. Uh, Take some days. Oh. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Just you get the sense uh, she's processing That's what you told her. Maybe we try again tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you should she ask her if she can send that necklace to us. Oh sure. <laughs> I think she has powerful enough people that she can. She'll reach out to us if she wants <clears throat> to talk to us. Yeah, but we got to tell her like they're wanting to take everybody's power away. Everything, everything will change. You want me to tell her that? No. I mean, she's smart. She'll fish. She has all these people that she can start asking. You're right. <clears throat> yeah, it's one thing to say it. I need a way to shell it. Mm -hmm. Hard to do. Hey, Sanders. Yes. What color is the bottom of this here ship? Like dark brown wood, does it have a color? I mean, you, you've seen it a few times when I f went to go Listen, pick I'm you up. Old, and do me a favor and just oh, tell me, will you? Yeah, it's the same wood color as the rest of the ship. You Shit, just I did. know it. Ladna? Yes. How do you feel about doing a little spider climb underneath the hull? Ooh, sounds fun, sounds risky, sounds thrilling. I got these paints <laughs> from, from Joe. I might want to paint the bottom <gasps> of the ship white. That's right, you got the paints. Ooh. Just it might help with our approach. If we do decide that coming in from above is better. Yeah, camouflage. 
Yeah, sky blue, a little white, maybe get some floaty cast clouds. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's your ship. That's a lot of painting to do. That's going to take uh, it's a lot of your days. But, God, you I know. wish we only had like six fucking days. I, do you want me to, to to fly down and we can paint it for a few no, days? No. We keep flying. We ride on. Oh, you are crazy. I like yeah, it. Okay, okay, okay like, yeah, do it. Do your thing. A couple of hours to do it. I don't know if it'll work, but maybe we can just get like some, just just yes, a primer coat. I like it. Let's see what happens. Maybe I have a spell to help make it go a little faster. Paint simulator. <laughs> Chore core games. <laughs> so here's the interesting thing: the paints you bought. How much did you? Buy. No, like a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big ship, bro. A pint, a pint of paint. Yeah, but if I mix with a little turpentine, <laughs> a little water and wine. Oh yeah, a little whitewash. Get a little shot and high. <laughs> then we have a little pot. Hey. Um, yeah, it was like a, I think there's like a quart each. It's not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way to make this ship invisible, right? I don't think. I, I don't have the power, do you? No, I think I can only make people <laughs> invisible. I, I don't think that's the thing. <laughs> just throwing it out. All right, are we going to Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> you can take that old thing and be like, black! It was worth a shot. Uh, shit. <laughs> want to talk to Hexum or are we just going to power on? <clears throat> do we want to hit up Hexum for Weapons and materials, and see if we can get some contacts in the underground black market in Bosserus, or do we want to see if we can uh, get her to give us a name of maybe sneaking a couple people in, since she's the one who's sending crates to them? Those are the two options when it comes to Axon. I can, I'm tightening it up right now. That seems really useful to, to to send in spies like that. It's just I don't know how we'd organize it with just Supplies a few words. Then. Yeah. Uh, from Ashton, big trouble coming, bad for business. Need your contacts for weapons and supplies. I owe you. That's from Ashton, big trouble coming, bad for business. All right. Send some to Hexum. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Oh, right, so you reach out and mm -hmm. tell this to uh, to Hexum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hexum responds. All right. Um, contacts where within Drusar? Did I say Bosserus? Did you fucking say Bosserus? No, I, I would have said. I wrote it down. But I yeah. would have said Bosserus. <laughs> I would have said it. It's oh, you did say Bosserus. Yes, Thank I did. <laughs> and I also <laughs> mentioned like your potions or some shit. Uh, most of my dealings there are through the call. Mm -hmm. Drop my name on Eunice. Eunice? And you know Eunice is... Uh, I know Eunice. You know Eunice in the Samaganda Strip. It's actually a, a general supplies dealer in the Raha Den where you guys stayed. Um, oh, is it in my notes? It should be in your notes, yeah. General but they're, they're a general, they're a general seller of tools and wares. They may have some interesting shit and they might Maybe. give us uh, some cheap shit. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. We're going to drop. All right, so if we actually go into Bosserus. If we live, we'll have like 80 extra gold. <laughs> where, where did we leave <laughs> off with, with Ira? Is, Fuck yeah. Are we just Ira's been meeting us in Bosserus. At, at the Callaway. At the Callaway. North, okay, so that's <clears throat> ranged. And we should probably eventually reach out to the Callaways to tell them that they need to go pick up the thing, pick up yep, the bomb. We'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll. Doesn't need to do that now, but need to do that eventually. Some, sometime in the next few days. Correct. Just assume that I will have checked in with Imahara Joe and given him more specifics about a bomb that can be mounted on the front of a ship. Mm, holy shit. Okay. Impact. Arcane bomb. It's got to be arcane. Yes. None of this. Does it bomb bomb shit? Bomb. Bar bar barcane. Barcane. Bar Arcom. Went to a barcane. Bomb 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 cane. Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh in, in in getting this across to, to Imahara <laughs> Joe, uh, more response like Alright, left turn. Uh yeah, it's gonna be pricey. I think we have lots of money, right? Do we have I think so? Money? Won't matter if we dead. You guys got like twelve K in gold. From uh, Shashadri, yeah. and then like 
close to 800 platinum from Estras. So it's bounty for Treshi. Did did he keep it all or did he pass Look, it out? I've been a fucking team player. I don't need that shit from you. Everybody's got stacks, okay? I, I just happen to be bigger. Don't be jelly. <laughs> Eight hundred platinum. He's compensating. Yeah, we we passed it out. We passed it out. We passed it out. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <clears throat> I think you put your platinum into gold. You like transferred it or something. I think I also had some left over. Then we just go on. All right. Yeah. Another day. So another day goes by. Oh, my turn to roll. Yep. Indeed. It's my it's your turn. turn. Your turn. It's about, that's a to roll. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> 19, a pretty solid approach to the Hellcatch Valley as you begin to break into the more tumultuous skyscape above <laughs> the desert land here. Uh, the winds are stronger. You can see bits of gray and storm fronts and dusty wind storms kind of creeping along the perimeters of the valley itself. You recall, once again, why this region is rarely traversed by sky ships that are taking the trade routes around it as much time as it adds. But this is the journey you're headed. But so far, so good. Great, uh, great. Uh, so that puts us uh, at the end of that. I'm going to be spending some time just trying to learn a little <laughs> bit of basic ass stuff about how the sky ship works, oh, how, yeah. like, how, how, how it flies and how like okay. just a little bit about of the physics of it, so that okay. I can kind of have a sense of how to get the I think sky ship gonna, to crash. I'm going to try too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, make an intelligence check for me. Oh lord. Yeah, I don't know if I should. Well, someone else should, because <laughs> he can't jump off, if, or they can't jump off if, if they need like, to. Like, what would be required for steering a ship? You know. There's only one way to find out. Do you want to learn? Xandis, Zand oh. like. Well, I mean, you own the ship, and I'm technically your employee, so for the time being, I can sit around. I'll, I'll give you some pointers, you know? Maybe one day, you could be your own captain. Ooh. You know, when you buy out the rest of my contract and I can retire early. Captain Calloway? Ooh. Has a nice right, ring to it, captain huh? Professor I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, teach me. All right. 20. 20? Yeah, I'm right, shocked an, as anybody. Make an, an intellect, intelligence roll for me, if you don't mind. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> That's cocked. Okay. 18. 18? Right. Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. So, you know, on top of Xandis teaching you about how the there are certain sort of controls all around here, little uh, uh, like rods you pull on and handles that change the pitch in the wall and kind of adjust the amount of energy that's going to the different broomstones. I also learn more. What does the red one do? Don't do that! It's the whole shit like. Oh, it's back to the Well, that's one way to learn real fast. Hands Hopefully, on. we didn't lose anyone. Did we lose anyone? Hi, no, we're okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, Was that not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But you, um, you ask the right questions, push the right buttons to kind of learn which things can lead to a catastrophic descent. Um, as well as a dangerous ascent. Um, you also, uh, you, you figure out the means of, of loosely controlling. You also learn a little more about Broomstone with those high rolls, too. Broomstone uh, is n just naturally buoyant within, when, when it is excavated or you know pulled from the, the, the ground of Exandria, it just kind of lifts and, and stays where it, where it is. It's easily pushed and seems to kind of just float on its own, and it's through, uh, charges of arcane energy that its buoyancy is adjusted, and that's kind of how the ship works. Each of these controls kind of controls these the kind of these like very very faint runes that are marked along the deck of the ship, either underneath or on top of it. And you can see kind of where they all connect to the different uh, brimstone devices. And so, with each different point of control, it kind of raises the amount of power that's going to them. It doesn't take a lot. So it's like rune, it's, it is runic based though. So yes. That's, okay. Okay. And you kind of like, like you've seen it before, and you thought it was just kind of like maybe like nice design on the ship, but as part of this description, Kazanis is like, 
No, and see, these are actually what carries the uh, arcane charge to each of these broomstones and kind of makes it go up or down or uh, left off, or right or cutting off the charge whole, yeah, drops. Okay, okay. The sails help like pick up the wind and kind of give it. It's yeah. it helps with the the up and down. Yeah. It's the forward motion that's challenging, but that's the sails pick up the wind and it just pushes it forward at a, a very very nice speed. Okay. I know my trick. Okay. Right. So yeah. Over the next few days, you, you you start picking up more and more, and these conversations continue, and you kind of get a decent feel for it. You know, in case you gotta bump off the captain and take the ship for yourself, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Um, any other business for this day? Yeah. Can I say that I sent a message to uh, Nana Mori? Um, we're going after the big one. There's anything you can do. Also, do you know how to bring somebody back that's been turned to stone? Then mm -hmm. responds. Oh, I'm recovering from a mild injury, but I'm strongest at home anyway. I'll be watching, mm -hmm. and I'll do what I can, when I can. And yes, there are ways. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. She's the best. Oh, no. So helpful. Well, <clears throat> we can't heal Ren on the spot, and we find a way to get her out. At least we know we can Bring her to Nana. Maury? Yeah. I think that she'd remain intact and in whole. If we crash a ship into her, no. That's not what I mean. I mean, if we have a, a ground team and we need to move Rin fast, we throw her in the hole. She doesn't need to breathe. It's so true. She's portable. Yeah. As long as she doesn't break apart, I think that's. Um, she was right next to the key too. Yeah. Uh, you carried around that um, statue. Statue, and it never broke. It's true. Can <laughs> fill the hole full of pillows. <laughs> Didn't we mm -hmm. talk about doing that before? We might have. I think it's actually a good <laughs> idea. The more I think about it, <laughs> I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's sandwiches and pillows. I feel like it doesn't rattle around in there. I feel like it's uh, magical enough that when you open it up, it just is like. I think when you open it, like gravity reasserts whatever. Yeah. It, it, it adjusts based on its current position. Yeah. Oh, so if we do it, then we got to make sure if we open it again to open it on the ground, right? If like you placed it, if it's in the ground, don't place it on a wall because then it'll everything shift. Falls. Everything will shift in inside of the hole if you put it okay. upon a wall. Okay. On a ceiling, everything would fall out. Ooh, got good know, Right. Actually, wow. if you had a way of affixing it to a ceiling, right. mm -hmm. try me. Right. Mm -hmm. Stick backing. Yep, mm -hmm. not really. <laughs> so glues. At some point, I'm going to just send a message to Dancer, Static. my old creator, mm -hmm. and just tell her you don't have to respond, but on the solstice, you should get somewhere safe, and maybe tell Esmer as well to get somewhere safe. And I'm sorry. There's no response. Okay. You know, if you had the ability to send out a message to somebody, why didn't you ever try to contact that uh, that merchant, the one who sold you, the one who found you in the first place? I don't know them. I, I heard about them. Yeah, but if you're familiar, you can at least try. Am I familiar? I mean, you... They described the person. I could try, certainly. I mean, I don't know I think if that's it'll a phrase, be any right? use right now. Yep. Yeah, but. <clears throat> I'm gonna try right now? What would I see even say? I, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's a thing to, to help now, but if you wanna know more about yourself, they seem like the place to start. Should I? Trust yourself, FCG. I think that's what the change bringer was trying to tell you. Change bringer said I should. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Oh boy, but they won't know who I am. 
Maybe they will. Choose your words carefully. You I'll, found me. You I'll reach me. out to D. Okay. <laughs> Smiley day there. Yellow automaton you sold in Basaros to Dancer. Do you know where you picked me up? And are there more of me? That's good. A wonderful surprise. What? That is my gift to you. A return to your own path. I pulled you from the wreckage. And your future is yours to make. And there are more of you. And more to come. I might have siblings. He's so hot. Damn. He's such a hot robot. Yeah. You heard a really hot voice in your head. He's a hot dude. robot. Son. Hot as shit. Mm. I buy a robot. I think I feel. I feel sexually awakened. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, Wait, where? Is That's it time to get a dildonic mm. device? Tell a dildonic device? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is your tongue rigid? The meat tongue? <laughs> Is it? It's engorged. Well, it's engorged and moist. Oh. Ah! Oh. Touche, motherfucker. Oh. Silver Sun suddenly lurches and crashes oh. into the ground. Oh. <laughs> what about your box? Is it hot? <clears throat> oh, I just made a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ding. Oh. That's impressive. So Good when you enough. get aroused, you make cookies. If I get if you get me aroused enough. <laughs> no, she's gonna have eggs. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Why is this cookie so salty? Mm. Oh, 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 Anything else to achieve on this day? No, we press on. All righty. Mm. It is now seven days to the solstice. Seven days. Shut up. Mm. I need someone to roll a d20 for me. That's, That's you. I don't wanna. Do it. You got to. <laughs> Sub five. Roll we one. Know, Sub babe. five. Like, one. No. If one. you look down. Sub five. So how do we get a fast yeah, one? Like, I'm, chaos, chaos, chaos. Chaos. I'm right. I'm doing something down here. One. I can't. It is more challenging here in the Hell Catch. Sub five. I'm working on a peanut butter oh, recipe, a peanut butter cookie recipe okay. for the okay. next couple days. Oh, it. God. Nope. One. It is, isn't it? <gasps> no yeah. fucking way! Oh, I, I know it. it is. It's one. I cursed it. Oh, Roll a d6 strong, for me. Roll a d6. Roll bad. Oh I put God. it out there. Six. What six. am I rolling? Give me six. 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 One. No. Six. I do want to hit something really badly. Three. Okay. A three. Oh God. Suddenly. Oh God. God. As the day progresses, a massive wall of dust storm begins to rise oh, up to the east. Which just loom like this dark, pressing cloud in your direction. And you hear Zenis go, well, that's going to be a real, real tough one. Uh, we're going to have to get a little low to the ground, and we're coming up on Basara soon, so just, I guess, uh, hold on to something! Oh, man, I always fly off these ships. Yeah, oh, but, oh, God, that's Tie right. Yourself in. Do we have or go underneath, ropes? go under! Yeah, let's maybe do that. I'm going to use my grapple hook to grapple myself to the, to the mainmast. All right. That's nice. I'm going to tie myself onto 
uh, uh, something in the front, or something on the, what yeah. am I saying? Next to Xandas, so I can learn how he's oh, um, navigating that. in the, the dust storm, oh, so I can nice, learn. nice, nice. All right, so keep an eye on them. Column. The rest of the crew. All of ropes, tying, Rope, ropes all of you tying up. with FCG. All right. For, I'll say, who's helming the rope tying effort? Rope tying. Oh, I, went under, I, I went in the hole. Into the. Yeah. I'll went tie inside. ropes. All right. I'll tie ropes. I've done a lot of ropes. I'm dexterous. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll a dexterity check for me, if you don't mind. Dexterity check. Yes. Should, did I assist him? Oh wait. So you just already... add my modifier. Yeah. Just add your modifier. Come on. It's terrible. I rolled a two. So that's a seven. That's Could a I have assisted seven. him because I was tying ropes too? Uh, for, for this is a, technically a skill challenge. And so it's individual roles oh, as the challenge I see, goes I around. See, I Here I go. See, I see. So three, you three. <clears throat> oh you go around and start helping everyone with their with their knots. And uh, for the most part, you've got most everyone secured. But the storm hits at a more rapid pace than you expect. And as you're like getting over to your final section to tie yourself in, the whole ship <laughs> lists to one side. Yes. And as it begins to careen and spin a bit, Xanus just goes, "Hold on!" And you just barely holding onto the side. Uh, you start to slip off to the side, and Xandis sees this happening. Goes, nah, shit, and goes ahead and, as opposed to spinning with the wind, tries to spin against it to keep you from careening off the side. And in doing so, you watch as one of the sails like no, no, <laughs> begins no, no. to hear the cracking sound of wood. Uh, what's the next thing someone's doing to try and help protect against this storm or to hold things down? Uh. You say the mast. You hear a crack in the wood. The I'm going to. I'm going to try and take a quick run out straight towards the, the mast with my rope and just start um, lashing it down with my body. Okay. Just Roll a strength check for me. Oh, so you should yeah, try yeah. and hold it in place to to use your own physicality with this rope to try and keep it able to survive the brunt of this cast storm. Natural twenty. Oh. Yay! You cast it so well. Yep, I did. He he does a natural twenty on his. You, you gr throw the rope around, hold it tightly, and embrace the stone-like form that your body sits within, and you become just a, a a shield of rock around the somewhat damaged sail mast, and it does not move. Yep. Nice. While well, they, well, they do that, um, I'm going to spider climb up to that crack in the mast and start pumping mendings into it. Oh, legit. Okay, okay, also go ahead and roll a d20 for me and add your spell, uh, your spell casting modifier. Oh, bulls, shit. Six. 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 Four successes before two failures. So, you attempt to mend this mast as you're holding it and clutching it and holding it in place, and right as you're Watching the the wooden aspects kind of pull themselves together, a heavy gust wham, rams into the side of the ship. The ship begins to spin almost out of control, and as you clutch onto the side of the mast and onto to uh, Ashton for for as much of a grip as you can with the spider climb spell, kind of holding you in place, you hear the terrible sound as that one sail rips off and it is lost into the storm. The sail, not the mast. Uh, well, the sail and the top of the mast, it breaks. God um, damn it. Uh, Xandis goes, all right, I, it's all right, just keep it held down! And the storm continues to blow for another hour and a half. Uh, the the ship is brought low, as, as low into the storm as possible to keep the heavy winds from battering it. Um, and when the storm finally clears, about two hours later total, you're not quite sure where you are in the hell catch. It takes Xandis another hour to kind of triangulate where you've been blown. And by the time the clarity of the day comes to you, you've lost a day of travel. Oh. Oh. By the time we get to Bosserus, the solstice will be happening. Perfect. And then it's another couple. we can make up a day. That's nice. Come on. How? We, we don't, won't even be able to travel at full speed now. Well, it was six days up from Bosserus and 12 days to the solstice start. 11? Uh, it, that that's now seven. You said seven days till the till seven days till the solstice as of today. Yeah, as of but today, we're, but only, we're only like three days. Oh, how days. close are we to Basarus now? Oh, you'll get to Basarus at, at uh, tomorrow. You were gonna get there today, but you got blown off course. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 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 I knew it. Okay. 
It's okay, hey. Ash. I was trying to busy myself so Matt wouldn't look at me, but it didn't work. I got <laughs> doing something over here. As, as we're <laughs> detangling from the mast, I just have that. I know I got really drunk, and I'm pretty sure I probably said some stupid shit. So whatever I said, I, uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely sorry. And a little, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it was bad. Hi, sorry. I owe you something, not a drink. I owe you something. Sorry. You remember everything you said. Don't bullshit me. God, I hope, I hope I do. Oh boy. You know, Ashton, and I understand <laughs> the irony of this, but you're not as hard as. You look. look. Yeah, I've, I've never heard that before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You look softy. <clears throat> Thanks, it's gross. You're welcome. Oh, wow. ah, how did you do You're that? Welcome. CFCG, there's more of you on the way. I am. Uh, it's my sister. CFCG. Thanks. Well, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I still think you should talk to Aura. When this is over. <sighs> Stupid. Yep, yep. <laughs> Any other business for the day, or do we move on to the following day? Oh, right. um, do we what, need to cut? Uh, how much? What do the skies look like compared to the beginning of this game and the waves of red cloud? Your perceptiveness, uh, already in previous experience seeing it, makes it easy to clock now that you look out and focus. But the colors are much more prominent to the point where even in the middle of the, the high sun of the afternoon, you can see these like curtains of shifting energy, these long tethers that look almost like a mile high at times, these like uh, moving, shifting curtains of magical energy that just kind of slowly flow and shift. You watch them all just ever so slowly move across the landscape, like the most minuscule shift in a rainstorm's Payload. Okay. At night, it is like a natural celebration of color and light. With the night sky now around you, as the auroras are more visible, the ley lines themselves are breathtakingly beautiful. And matched with the knowledge of what's to come, deeply ominous. You can see occasionally those pulses still traveling through. They're just brighter and more recurring. We need to reach out to Ira or the Callaways or anything since we'll be there <clears throat> manana. Callaways yeah. wouldn't. Did we check in with the Callaways? Yeah. yeah. Did we do Shashadre? Did we talk to Callaways at all? Did we do that? I, I feel like we haven't reached out to the Callaways yet. Green sleeves. Yeah. Can, uh, no, we didn't reach out to any of those. We did reach out to Keyleth earlier, and, and she was busy doing stuff. I'm kind of curious if anybody else, if these are localized or like how can all of them everywhere? Do you think these lights are everywhere? There's an easy way to figure that out. Oh, yeah, story and cookie. <laughs> you going to eat all that? Hey, buddy. Okay. I have a weird <coughs> request from the uh, other side of the ocean. Can you see the ley lines? Is your night sky lit up? Ashton says hi. Ash says hi. You'll so, know it if you see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's real colorful up here too. I'd uh, I'd take it in and enjoy the display if. Things weren't so tense at the moment. What's going on? Tell Ashton I say hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What, what is this that's really high. affecting Opal? Oh, maybe that's why she's... Why is, this, why is he saying it's so Opal. tense? Uh, Who's Opal? Opal's a friend of ours from... We met her in Tal'Dorei and... Um, mm. She's a little younger and kind of coming to grips with problems of her own. She's half the world away, though. I don't know what to do about that, Fern. I know. I just. I think well, if well, we well. fix this, she I can know. Fix that. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Always a list. Callaways. Callaways. Yeah, we'll message the Callaways. Tell them <coughs> when to expect us. Yeah. And to go pick up the thing. Uh huh. Also message. Ira, tell them when we're coming. 
I've got one third level left. So oh, I'll that. message Ira, you message Callaway. Sure, done. All right. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for this, for the sake of, 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 of travel and brevity, mm -hmm. um, uh, Birdie responds, yeah. well, I'll, Ira already told me. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, prepare for your arrival soon. In Mahars? Okay. I'll, I'll go start moving. That's Ira pretending to be him. Because she, because he ate them. She's wearing their faces right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta respect the, uh, the craft, though. It's really sure. Yeah. All right. So, flame dry. Anything else before the next day in which you arrive at Vassar's? Hopefully, with a good roll. Nine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's all go right. for it. It's all you. Imogen. Six days yeah. till the solstice. Oh boy, Orm is filling all the empty hours on this boat, just doing the Zephyr Tom on the deck of the ship, yeah. just because he's stressed the hell out. <coughs> just cookie, cookie <laughs> cooking. Go ahead and roll your 25. Come on, Jen. Stress bacon. Come on, Jen. Bacon. I love stress bacon. 18? Ooh. 18. 18, okay. The day is calm, and while the clouds do mar the sky with shadow, the winds are gentle. Though it brings in a unique smell, almost like a, like a forest fire occasionally that comes through the wind, but you see no smoke nor forest. But nevertheless, midday, you can see the carmine curtain, the large red walls that wrap around the majestic clustered city of Basarus before you. A familiar sight, last seen when you fled upon this very skyship. But there it is before you, the track of the Deathwish Run wrapping around the nearby edge of the canyon that encompasses its northern side. What would you like to do? We ran out of town before, right? Obviously, we would know this. Were we chased out of town? Uh, yeah, I feel like we were. I feel, I feel like, like it was not. There's only there's so many different factions that we just have to. Because we, we're gonna. I mean, you nuked the town and then we got out of there. Correct. Yeah, of there's, people. there's a missing corner of one of the neighborhoods. Check your your ball. Check your balls. Check your balls. No sign of anything. They really stretch. <laughs> <laughs> should we land at Bosphorus or should we go to the Callaways? I think the Callaways. Yeah. Have a call right. Callaways and then drive out to Bosphorus, or because they're going to meet us at Imahara Joe's. I no, they no, were no. Picking up they're from picking Imahara. Up. Oh, from there. Okay. Delivering. Yeah. So, yeah. Gotcha. if the Callaways, if we want to send them a message and say, "Hey, you guys go check in at Eunice's," because I don't think we should go into town. You if they're already there. The drop, drop Hexum's name. Maybe get some health potions. Yeah. Mm. Some I health really and use some, some health potions. Whatever. God. Hard, hard to know there. not being there, but yeah. We can reimburse them whatever cash it is. Hopefully they are that liquid. So am I dropping you off outside of the town? Where are you uh, going? No, over we lead the Captain Sandus where the Callaway Hadaway is. <clears throat> oh, so we're not, at which point you see this like, some sort of a harpoon or weapon Shit. is uh, launched no, from the city. Christ. Right, okay, we're just gonna move on and cruise away from this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You do remember us. Yeah. Wow, I've never heard good. of that happening. Chetney. Mm. I was thinking about your idea of painting the ship. Yeah. Well, we might not have enough paint to paint the bottom of it. Going off of kind of the disguising ourselves to be allies idea, what if we utilize that symbol that was on those crates of the Cerberus assembly? What if we make ourselves, like, paint that on the ship to make ourselves look like an incoming assembly ship? That was like three diamonds or something? I think I've still got those crates. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it couldn't hurt. Yeah. I don't know, it just might maybe deter them for a second. I know the Cerberus assembly members can just, like, bamf in and out, but if it's, like, a shipment, yeah. or, or um, Otahan's crew. Can't hurt. They had a symbol too, right? The the what were those fucking people's names? Theragon's call. Theragon's call. Yeah, hopefully we're coming in hot enough that we don't really need time to see it. But you know, sure. Par Paragon, the Paragons, I think would be more likely to know a ship wasn't theirs. But yeah. But on the other hand, that other symbol I think is a really good idea. Wait, if we're if we're or 
No. Well, if we're pulling up to the Callaway Hideaway, isn't it bad if we park the ship there? Wouldn't people be like, oh. Wouldn't be a hideaway anymore? It wouldn't be a hideaway Maybe anymore. we can park the ship on the other side. Just leave the ship in the like air. Like a couple, couple thousand yards away? <laughs> I thought we were getting off and they can fly away for a little while. Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Yeah. All right, so passing beyond the city of Basarus, you guide Xandis over to where you recall mm -hmm. the hideaway was. Are we part of the, In the No, it's oh, I mean, the, the yeah, same, the same like, like, you know, <laughs> platform, the, the, the edge of the, the, the northern edge of the mesa where the pathway leads mm -hmm. into the cavern is there. <laughs> the, <laughs> the skyship slowly descends and lands little ways away from the entrance, per your request, and you can rapidly leap off of the sides of the skyship, and then it picks up and just begins to run a loop like until you're ready. down, like SWAT team yeah. style? Yeah, if you want to, cool. sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all descend. Uh, it's a, you know, a quick walk from where you were dropped off, about 20 or so minutes with a you know, jogging pace until you come around to the top, the northern side of the mesa, and there you see uh, the the crawler that was left, uh, the crawler that uh, oh, we have you know, a crawler. that you previously left there, we have a car. in the entryway <laughs> to the hideaway. We're taking, we're taking a damn we're car. We're fucking taking it. Yeah, we're taking a car. <laughs> fucking taking it. <laughs> it's a good car. Is that the secret knock? What? <laughs> <laughs> secret knock is just insistence. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like doorway shuffles open, and you see Birdie there on the other side. Hi. Oh, there she is! Come on in here. Hey. Big old. Huh? Oh, and uh, all your friends are around here too. Great! Come on in. Come on in. We're expecting you. <sighs> Not exactly the best circumstances. No. Everything seems fine. Nothing. Nothing seems out of place. Any perception check. Thank you. <clears throat> Where's Ara? Oh, he's still fiddling on the device there. Oh. You mind? Oh. Sure, yeah, yeah go right ahead, easily. Mm -hmm. Ten. What was the first thing? Let's see here. Ten. The telescope. telescope. Looks the he's same. Still has the same like, kind of and, like, growths they're, around. They're acting fine, nothing seems uh, Make an insight check. Oh, okay, that's that. All right, good, that's, that's yeah. Seven. They seem fine. They seem fine. They're cool. All right. Should we go see Ira? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Callaways, did you get the goods from uh, Joe? Ollie kind of steps in, uh, wiping his hands with like you know, dirt and soot on them. He's like, "Oh, you've all, you've all arrived. Very good. Um, Fern, good to see you. Hello. Good to see you. Of course, of course. Uh, welcome, Prince. Uh, here we're all in a bit of um." Bit of a frenzy, so up this way, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it in, bring it in. Could be the end of the world. Might as well. <laughs> Who's that? Dad. Dad. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> 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 Who's that? <laughs> to be fair, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what? I, could, I was like, is that Hondir? <laughs> I was like, I couldn't remember. Sorry. No, he's a little you step into the familiar <laughs> laboratory, the cluttered space that you had previously encountered uh, Ira Wendigoth the last time. There you see the same device, and you hear the uh, banging of metal, uh, and you see the familiar shape of one long, thin, spider-like arm kind of clutching to the side as most of the bodies within the device. And you see, like, sitting in a stool on the opposite side of the room, Kind of just looking up, the familiar uh, form of Hondir, the uh, Grim Verity goblinoid member, uh, who had uh, been living in Basarus this time, who kind of looks over towards the rest of you. Oh, so you've made it. Welcome. Uh, he's here. I guess you're doing. You're talking. Um, they and he points over to this, like heavy. Series of satchels that are been placed on the, 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 the furthest corner of this chamber. Uh, it takes you a moment to kind of see it separately from the rest of the clutter around it, but you see these uh, 
two uh, kind of large clusters of smaller sized arcane cores that all have been like welded together um, to be about that large each. Um, and they kind of give that faint bluish glow to them, kind of just filling that space with this like faint, soft, fuzzy halo of blue light. Um, right about that time, the clinging stops and two legs step out from inside. Another arm grabs this, the top end and like a daddy long legs. Ira Wendigoth slowly emerges, the long ears kind of folded within before they kind of flop out and <laughs> shake slightly, turns around yeah. that horrible vacuous grin of sharp teeth and just that black void-like eyes, the rest of you with a bit of dirt smudged in the face. Wonderful, you. You've come. So, what can I do for you? We've been busy. Yeah, yeah. Do you really want to mess it up? Very. Great. Well, why? Well, let's just say I hold grudges a very long time. Grudges against two in this case. I was contacted by Lutinus to design the first key. And I grew curious. They offered me inspirational designs, examples of some strange technology that caught my ear. And I'm not one to just build things without information. I like to know what I'm working on. Well, all of us can enjoy a good mystery. I guess I grew more curious than they were comfortable. So, finished with my first design after the initial tests, they kicked me from the project. They're trying to achieve, right? Uh, uh, for Dathos. Like, what are they working on? Best that I know. <laughs> they wouldn't tell me in detail before they absolved our contract. But they wanted a channel. They wanted. A, they wanted something that could gather. a directly focused amount of energy through a focus, a lens, if you will. The initial design was just to, to grab and hold, to be an anchor. That was the first key. It was to be a accelerant, a bolstering device. That's the one in the Fey Realm. Mm-hmm. I had intent for the next build, and they arrogantly said that they didn't need me, they could do it on their own, and they were dissatisfied with my work. So I hope the Calloways take the crown. <laughs> well, we finished what you started. How so? Doesn't know. The Fey Realm key is destroyed. 
his eyes narrow, and you see there's this interesting conflict of like a bit of arrogant frustration that something he designed had been destroyed that immediately melts into a delicious enjoyment. Mind you, I was more of a prototype. It was very difficult to break. It was. But uh, this is good. This is a step in the right direction. Oh, I bet they're scrambling. Oh, I bet they're so unhappy. They are. <laughs> they seem to be adjusting their designs. Would you still know how to harm the, the one in the desert? Oh, I've been keeping an eye. He took us back to the machine. What are you looking at? The moon or something else? The site. The site? Do you love to see? Yes, very much. Yeah. I had to uh, make some adjustments. The lens that I was waiting on seemed to be rendered unusable. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a bit oof, improvised. <laughs> Reaches over and kind of like grabs oh. you with his long, spindly fingers Ooh. and wraps them around your head and like plucks you, Ooh. lifting uh -huh. you. Sure. Like a He's radish. He's so much bigger than I realize. Yeah. He's long. <laughs> um, and places you before <laughs> the eyepiece. Okay. <laughs> Clutters up the side and adjusts a few things. And pushes your head up to the eyepiece. As he's adjusting it, you watch as the strange, extended, uh, metallic viewing piece seems to like bend and shift. It almost coils like a serpent in a westerly direction, a northwesterly direction. And as you glance through, it seems to like almost bank imagery. In theory, it's just pointing towards the sky, but you're getting a downward view of something. Cool. It's very odd. And you see, having been in a, a somewhat immaterial, almost dreamlike vision, a transference of your consciousness to an in-between within the space, you recognize immediately the shape of this, this sinkhole. The edges, some edges are pushed up uh, and others are like sinking downward, but at all points there are bridges that connect at different levels within. You can see there are multiple walkways that curve down, and these like thin uh, connecting points where figures are walking across. Um, you can see on the outside little tents and uh, bits of the excavation. Whether they're old or new, you can't tell from this distance. Uh, but you can see just figures moving around. You can see the dust trails of crawlers that are like coasting and driving around. Um, which immediately, you can infer that the Paragon's call is definitely in some mm. way, shape, or form present. At which point, Ira leans in real close and goes, what do you see? What do I see? I mean, I see, I see the, 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 the sight. It's in, it's, it's it turns another knob, and it's almost like the glass flips, and as it does, all of a sudden your vision is much closer, Ooh. and you are right at the edge of this pit. And it looks, with this perspective, it's a few hundred feet across end to end, two, three hundred feet, it's hard to tell, like the full width of this sinkhole. Um, and you can see people walking around, some dressed in vanguard robes. Mm. Um, some you can see in kind of the, the armored attire, the Paragon's Call, the, the, the crawlers themselves kind of, not mingling directly, they're still kind of working together, but they all seem to be keeping to themselves a little bit. You also watch passing by <laughs> a clearer look at one of these large automatons. It's kind of egg-type, egg-shaped torso, uh, heavily armored, and you can see the, the runic design to it uh, takes Aorian inspiration, though it is not directly from your build or others. This this has more modern automaton feels to it. It it, it 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 it's a modern construct, but you can see where the inspiration seems to be pulled from. 
the glass slips once more. And you have a view over this. Cool. And you can see the half dozen bridges kind of overlapping, but they never quite cross the center. And you can see below the directly head on, the pointed edge of the central spire that's marked there. Almost in a fork type shape, it sits facing your direction. And the shadow takes it from within. You can just see points of light, of moving lanterns and light sources all throughout the scattered ruins beneath. And it is a, like a small village down there. You can see uh, structures, buildings, some partially crumbled, some partially, you know, still well maintained, and some partially unexcavated that are still built in the dirt and rock. Uh, the glass slips once more. And now the the image is kind of staticky. And as you kind of peer inward, uh, you can see dozens of figures walking around, carrying things, hammering things. You can see like a, a flash or a spark, a greenish flash, and it looks like they are coating elements of it. Co coating? Like placing and, and almost like like welding or uh, fixing something to the outside of this massive tower. And there's all sorts of, of heavy machinery that has been built around it. Mm. Uh, it's almost too much to take in from this overhead view. It, 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 is, it is purely directly above. And then you watch as suddenly numerous points of light, a light to the inside of the wall of this tower, and there's a a, a warm flash of light, and the vision's gone, oh. and you just see darkness. As I was looking, I was describing in Mercerian detail mm -hmm. everything that I was seeing to the rest of the group, but slightly m more eloquently than you did. So of course, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you're describing this, the rest of you watch as Ira almost like, like stands or sits behind FCG the mass of long elbows and knees uh, kind of just looming over as it just kind of looks at the rest of you listening to what he says below um, before going, it seems about every minute on the minute it emits some sort of burst of anti-magic, mm. like a anti dispel burst. wave. Uh, every minute on the minute? Best I can tell. Oh. It's going to take down hell of a shot, kid. Yeah, it is. Um, what is, do you have a theory of what exactly this is, what they're trying to do? What are, you, what, are, what are your thoughts? Tell me all of it. Well, I can only assume it has something to do with Rudis. They've made much mention of Wanting to destroy it, reach it, tether it, lock it, break it, free it, I don't know. But they have a lot of interest. They paid well originally, and I was curious. I didn't ask too many questions until I asked too many. Why do you know? Do you? Of course. <laughs> Whether we're working together or not, are we allies? Are we friends? You tell your friend what you know, right? Mm. I'm comfortable with colleague, I think, at this point. Yeah, last time we saw you, there was a little bit of trick oration on your part. Oh, it's just my nature. <laughs> I can respect that. Do you still have the crown that you absconded with? Oh, I do. And imagine what would happen if such a powerful artifact were to suddenly surge in their device. I don't think they are so clever as to prepare for too much power, right? Well, it's funny you mention that. That's actually precisely how we made the Malleus Key in the Fey Realm go boom. 
<laughs> is that your solution for this one? One. But I need to get closer. They've been moving things. Yeah, They've been yeah, shifting yeah. and dividing the power sources. I feel like they did it after we took out the one. Yeah. Have you just been watching from afar here? I've been trying to. When you say dividing the power sources, you mean several meters away from each other, hiding them? From what I can tell, I can't see them from above anymore. Ah. So they may have hidden them. Still need to be tethered, one assumes. There's gotta be something connecting them. It's probably a point of weakness. They've been... Maybe. There's a few yeah. odd things they're building in there I'd like to see closer. I can't figure out what they're for. Hmm. Do you know how to get closer? I mean, there's numerous ways to get closer. Did you see Rin get taken? No. I look over at Hondir. Hondir, eyes go wide. He's just been quiet this whole time. The plane writer is gone. Yeah. Turned to stone at the base of the of the key. It reaches in and pulls out a small necklace and kind of holds it for a second and closes his eyes. And rubs his chin a bit. Who are you praying to? Those who came before me. I am not a godly figure. But I believe in those who have made sacrifices before us. Ira, you're crafty and powerful. Is there any chance you can send us there? Oh, uh, I can do short bursts for my Self and maybe one other, but what you're asking is a bit outside of my bailiwick. But I am excited to ride on the sky ship. You certainly can, and maybe one other is exactly what we might need. Yeah, that's true. Would it be safe to park the sky ship here, or should we keep it up in the air? Oh, it's quite a long walk. No, from Basarus. Would they be able to see it? From here? With the right eyepieces, yes. We shouldn't dally too long. Why are you expecting? Could use a little shoot? repair if we had the moment, but it's serviceable. It's missing a sail. Sure. sure. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we went to go see mm. my Nana. Mm. And. <laughs> <laughs> She says hi. But how'd she say it, though? Hi. <laughs> As you look at you, look, <laughs> you say that towards them, hi, and it's, you blink, and in a blink instant, I was right in your face. <sighs> well, next time you see her, you tell her I say, Ah, oh, young love. Nothing like it. So romantic. Nothing like it. Never gonna get you. Um, is it late? Did it take us the whole day to get here? It's uh, at this point. It's like early afternoon, mid afternoon. So you still have more travel if you'd like to for the day. And we're still four days away from solstice. You're six yeah. days away from the solstice. Six. And how far yeah. travel are we from the excavation site? Uh, you're roughly four, four to five days, depending oh. on how the. How the so oh, got, that is so. I didn't we realize got a it was day. so far. We got a day. How how much of a dr drive is it to get into Basarus from the hideaway? A drive? You yeah. Mean, you mean on the airship or on a? No, car? no, no. If we took the car into Basarus. It's a few hours. Into okay. Basarus. Oh, Basarus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crawler. Ira, have you ever been in any of those sinkholes around the Hellcatch? Have you ever gone down where the where the squiddies be? Not myself, no. I 
Don't make a habit of crawling into subterranean holes, unless I have a reason. Fair. Well, you going into Basarus? I mean, should we take, what like, we, just what do we need? Just, just to, to go to Eunice's and Get some potions stock and stuff. up? If we let's do it. it. All right, let's Life's make that quick. We're we got. We, we can't all of us go to on the crawler. Nope. No. Why don't we? I'll I'll stay here and continue to chat. I'll help repair the sail on the ship with my oh. fucking awesome woodworking oh, skills. I can help paint if we still want to do the bit painty simple thing. Yeah, yeah, pick up some paint, paint in town. Yeah. Sure. Put it on the list. I'm going shopping. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's do a quick. Sh- let's do a very quick shop run. I'll stay. I'll stay here and. Delicately load the bomb and onto the boat. Okay. I'll go, As, toss, I'll go with y'all. Mm-hmm. I toss 500 gold to the team. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I we need to take potions. Oh, you might need oh, yeah. to pay Imahar Joe while you're there, too. Well, we'll yeah, take care of that after. Okay. I throw uh, 500 gold as well. Okay, oh. so. Here's 3,000 gold. Uh, I'll do. Hey, big okay, so we got 4,000 G's with us. I got 2,000 and change on me. Yeah, I've got about that too. Okay. I have a bunch. All right. All right. Vroom, vroom. Uh, while the rest of you stay back, uh, as Ira begins to gather the rest of his themes and begins to place them in this like awful, like black alligator hide looking medicine mm. bag, like kind of like folds open in the top and begins just like placing tools and objects and weird trinkets. And then eventually, this like oddly familiar glowing crown oh. goes inside, latches. As soon as he latches it, he twists his hand and it just vanishes. I, oh wait, he just bamfed? No, he bamfed his bag. He his closed bag. bag. Uh, Iro. Yes, my dear. <laughs> you mentioned you were replaced. Mm-hmm. That they didn't think you were adequate enough. Do you know who they replaced you with? No. I do not. Mm. I'm one to believe that perhaps there is no replacement. Maybe they just ran with it, I don't know. For you, darling, of course not. Oh, here it comes. This is why she wanted to stay. Yes, if this flirt with the feet of man. <laughs> got a Virginia oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a martini in the other hand. <laughs> I grew bored of the project early in anyway. Mm-hmm. On to bigger and better things. But if there's anything that draws my attention faster than uh, inspiration, it's uh, spitefulness. <laughs> it's quite a grudge for being fired, honestly. Well, definitely burned a few bridges in working with them. Mm-hmm. Sure. You certainly left quite a reputation in your wake in Drusal. <laughs> Anything that we can harvest from this little tiny malleus key to help us in our cause, power cause? That's that, that second device is. He points to the second satchel that you are carrying over. It's like, one was from Imahara Joe's, the other I pieced together for interest. Oh. What's, does it do anything different, or is it just blow? It goes boom. It goes boom, okay. <laughs> it's just gonna say it too, which is the worst part, and then we're gonna feel really oh silly. So. <laughs> Little flag. Yep. <laughs> do you happen to know anything about, what's his name, Pradathos? Name does not ring a bell, I'm afraid, but you can tell me what is a Predato. That's just. What the fuck are you doing? See, I'm. <laughs> you know. Insight check. Make an insight check. Go, pardon. 23. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 The Mighty Nine box set from WizKids is now available for pre-order. Find these and many more Critical Role miniatures at wizkids.io slash crminis and at your local game store, WizKids. They're the wizziest. I'm pretty sure the copy of 
I'm going to make up mottos for them. Just like they asked for. I think, I think, I think Perdathos was like a... A cereal. A C, a, a, oh, Perdathos, it yes. was a cereal, and I was just curious if... Part of a balance bar? You liked it. Make a deception check. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Good job, Fernie. The team's all divided up. So we're going shopping. I thought she was going 21. shopping. 21. Hey! 21. Interesting. Maybe you'll have to tell me all about this cereal on the journey. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> cereal killer. Hey. Hey. Oh. In the interim, who's going to uh, Basaris? We are. All right. It's a tight ride. Easy rider. Mm-hmm. And y'all clutter in as. <laughs> the back feet push off the monstrous growling crawler, tearing across the desert ground, just <laughs> leaving this large trail of dust in its wake. You kind of gather your bearings and then push on to the southward direction until eventually you come to the long bridge that carries you across the ravine once more. Uh, the wind, while it is gentler than previous days, it is still enough to cause the bridge to shift and rock slightly to a point where it is you were able to feel it even amongst the vibrations and push of the crawler, and it's a little off-putting. Just tell me when we're over it. I like riding these things. What? <laughs> Man, I love riding these things. <laughs> <laughs> Within a short enough time, you begin to approach the outside of the Carmine Curtain and the bustling city of Basaris, the trash heap of the Hellcatch Valley. Do you do anything to cover ourselves? Oh yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're cloaks. We're cloaked up. Cloaks. Yeah. Okay. You swaddle yourselves in cloaks and materials to to yeah. hide. Yep. Yeah. Little. <laughs> we should probably have like painted over the little sign on our crawler too, just to cover it up. Sure. Since we were probably very been blown, like like sand it blasted. Yeah, yeah. By something. this point. That's true. That's true. That's but he eats it. You cruise through the main gates. There are two uh, very well-armed uh, Gajakandas crawlers keeping a watch as you pour through, and they keep, keep a, a tight eye. Uh, just do a three of you, a group deception check. I'll give you advantage, because they're they're not looking for you specifically, but oh. they're God, so good at correcting. That's so great. With advantage. Thank God. Oh. 22. 11, which is good for me. 11. Oh, okay, 22, 11, 11. I have a negative two. I There's definitely a, an intense stare as you ride through the gates, but you don't read any sudden change in physical activity, any sort of mood shift or posture alteration. And you continue <laughs> tearing through the city yeah, streets, yeah. following your lead as the driver. Going straight to, I know where I'm heading. We're going specifics. straight there. In and out. In and out. Mm-hmm. You rush to the northern side. Get a burger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just get one other couple t shirts. A couple t shirts, a couple, couple pot holders, whatever to do. Just one of everything. I got rid of my pot holder. He took it. <sighs> That's true. You can pick up another one. Uh, but you do rush over to the Sal- uh, Salmagunda Strip on the northern side of the city. There, going past the bustling courtyard that that sits all these numerous carts and buildings and tents, uh, you see the massive structure that is the caravanserai, the Raha Den, where you had stayed before. You knowing directly where uh, Eunice's general supply shop is, you go ahead and park uh, and and you know chain up your crawler near one of the uh, specific hitching posts, which is not designed for a crawler necessarily. It's designed for a number of other. Uh, creatures and beasts, but it works enough for the time being. Um, you approach this uh, very kind of simple-looking uh, stone domicile that's been converted into a general supply shop, and you see the back of it has been expanded. Like they took out the back wall and then affixed a storage uh, facility beyond the back of it. Um, but as you enter the front, it has these like long metallic beads that look like they're collections of, of pieces of, of scavenged metal and iron. Uh, and aluminum and other uh, other 
oars that have been just kind of strung together on this long cable, and there's just numerous, numerous ones, and as you push through, it gives this kind of like shiny, clattering sound that's not beautiful, but definitely unique. Um, stepping into the shaded interior, uh, there's not much business going on here, but you do recognize Eunice, uh, this kind of... Uh, Homely-looking male dwarf in his what would be the human equivalent of his sixties. He looks older. Um, you see, he's got this, this thick, bushy uh, kind of white unibrow that sits over uh, a, a shaved upper lip and a, a very, very long, gathered white beard that kind of drifts down past his navel. Um, wear, wearing simple, uh, simple kind of light white clothing. Uh, both on shirt and pants uh, for the hotter temperatures here of uh, Basiris, and is currently in the process of enjoying a cup of tea and looking over what looks to be some sort of a, a folded piece of paper before you enter and kind of folds it, puts it away. Oh, uh, ha, ha, hello, I, <laughs> welcome to the general store. What can I do for you? Hi, uh, Eunice, right? That's me, I'm Eunice. Yeah. Excellent. We're, you know, honestly, we're in a bit of a rush. Um, we're here. Uh, we've heard this is the place. Uh, this is the place to shop in town. Uh, Gianna yeah, Hexum. Uh, Gianna Hexum said that you are just the place to go to get something special, potions, uh, maybe some something magical. We, we've got a little bit of work to do, and we would love an edge. And she, when she t says that somebody is the person, they are the person. He gives like a curious glance out of one eye. Um, his normally like squinty vision, one eye kind of pops open a bit. Stands up, folds the paper, puts it away, walks around to the door, going, I, I can't say I've heard that name before. I appreciate uh, someone's inquiry uh, as over someone else's recommendation, but that's not so sorry. sort of business. Closes the door. Yeah, sick. real sorry about that. All right, all right, come here. Yeah, the voice changed. <laughs> there's there's a, a, a simple back door and this really extravagant looking locked doorway. Uh, pulls out a ring of keys and goes ahead and unlocks the simple door and <laughs> opens oh, it yes. and leads you into Hell this yeah. small back chamber uh, where there are just a bunch of, of latched uh, chests, like curved chests, box chests. It looks like this is, this is uh, some most of them look empty, uh, but there are some that are closed and, and, and latched. And uh, he kind of steps inside. As you're about to step into the threshold, it puts a hand out and turns back to you. So what are you looking for, huh? What do you have? Well, we got all sorts of things. We got a. Uh, we got we got soon. We got Baron's root. We got uh, all sorts of toxins, poisons. Wow, what are we talking? Uh, toxins and poison. toxins and poisons might be a little more than what we need right now. Yeah. We're not going to be. It's going to be less of a one-on-one -on -one confrontation issue and more. Uh, Snatch and grab. We've got to get into a uh, getting into a heavily armored facility, getting our shit together, and trying to get out in one piece. Health potions, any uh, uh, weaponry, Stuffing. defensive measurements, stuff. Uh, anything interesting? Uh, I mean, I promise it's actually for a good cause for once. I, I I'm good for tools and weapons. I got all sorts of regular ones in the other room. But if you want some special, let me see what I got. <laughs> kind of like rubs his beard a bit and goes and starts locking some of these and opening them up, kind of rummaging through. Finds two uh, larger healing potions, kind of sets them aside. Goes, I got those. Those I can do and help you with. Yeah, good. That's um, the start. Um, as far as uh, interesting, interesting. Yes, yes, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Gets down and opens up another chest and kind of pulls through. Dusts off something and kind of opens this small uh, lid on it. Pulls out this like intricate, thin-looking circlet and sets it down. It's like this like fine uh, silver circlet that almost like has a, a, a coiling uh, design around the edges and it looks like very, very, very lightweight, almost like a, like a silver-like material. Sets that down uh, on, on the table, goes and pulls out a another small uh, box that has like a like a dark polished mahogany lid and he pulls it up and pulls out this like long chain. Of uh, like a like a, like a dull, almost gunmetal coloration, and in the middle of it is this this beautiful like brown yellow cut gem. Sets that aside, and then looks around and goes ah, and like leaps up and grabs this one like bag that's hanging in the ceiling, pulls it, opens it up, and pulls out this like 
odd-looking, thick, like leather. It's it's like half between a belt and a girdle. It has like two belts mm. along the side, but it has like a thicker piece of leather that's affixed to, and sets it down. It was like, all right, these are interesting. They're not cheap, but they're interesting. What do they do? Oh, see here. Takes the necklace, holds it up. This. The necklace is, or the circlet. The is necklace it? first. He pulls oh, okay. Off this necklace is a hardy little enchantment. It will uh, rejuvenate and empower your personal uh, fortitude, your uh, endurance, your, um, your general health and sense of well-being. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually uh, thing. not a very unique name. It's called an amulet of health. Oh, all right. Um, That's the point. Uh, which of those are interested? Uh, it is an amulet of health. Yep. Mm. Well, Ross. Pulling it up. I should actually write this down too. Uh, amulet of health. Wondrous uh, constitution is only two words. Yeah. Whoever health. wears it, their constitution becomes nineteen. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Just straight jumps to nineteen. Just straight jumps to nineteen. Holy fuck! Mm. Is it four, right? Fuck. Yeah. It yes. Must be a two. It's a two. Yeah. All right. Wow. Wowzers. What's your constitution? Four? Six? No, that's what you're thinking of my strength. Oh, your strength, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't insult me. You insult my strength, bro. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the circle, he goes ahead and pulls up and kind of like, doesn't put it on, but holds the most. Uh, this is called the uh, circle of the Hidden Eye. And uh, it's, it's uh, situationally useful for the kind of things that you're talking about, I think. Um, uh, kind of getting a glance over it and looking at it, let me pull up the uh, actual item here. While uh, wearing this circlet, you're immune to magic that allows other creatures to read your thoughts or determine whether you are lying. Oh. Creatures can communicate telepathically with you only if you allow it. If someone attempts to perceive or detect you through divination magic, they must succeed on a DC six to wisdom saving throw to do so. On a failure, they are unable to locate or perceive you through the spell or scrying sensor. Oh my god. And they suffer psychic damage. It's like a 10 foil. A DC of what? 16 wisdom. 16. Okay. It's a workable 10 foil hat. I don't know yeah, if you guys absolutely. have enough money for all this shit. We probably don't, but we'll probably yeah, we'll, we'll figure out where we're gonna go with yeah. it. Right? And the third thing, and then we'll find out the damage. Yeah. Third one is called a belt of momentum. It's uh, an item that a number of them were made for some of the uh, local crawler gangs, the ones that like to get their hands dirty and close the gap at distance really quick. Um, belt of momentum, uh, leather belt that when you move more than 25 feet in a straight line and successfully hit a creature of huge or smaller size, it takes additional damage and you can they make a save to be pushed 15 feet away from you. Mm-hmm. You should become like a human battering ram, essentially, <laughs> to get enough. I always have thought that Someone of Chet's age should probably be wearing a girdle. Like he, I mm-hmm. feel like it it's would suit. Definitely starting him. to slump. Yeah, he needs a little mm-hmm. posture. posture yeah, yeah, it would really ribbon. could get easily two or three more yeah. inches out of that right there. <sighs> Will everything run us individually? The potions in each item. Oh wait, there's a stone too. Oh, was that the necklace? That was the necklace. necklace. Got it. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> and two uh, potions. Alrighty. So, so we, uh, two potions are potions of greater healing. Mm-hmm. Um, let me just, uh, pull my here. All right, here we go. Right, here Those go. will run you about uh, 300 apiece okay. Okay, for each potion. Um, the, uh, the belt is 2,500 gold pieces. Mm-hmm. All right. The circlet is 5,000 gold pieces. And the uh, amulet is 7,000 gold pieces. Uh, uh-huh. uh, oh, Buy them all. It's the end of the world. It's we a, don't a, have adorable that you think we have that kind of money. Uh, all right, well, what are we What are we sitting at grand total of cash that we have on there? Okay, wait, everybody look Excuse at their money. Yeah. Have given I money. have 30. <laughs> I have. I'll retcon and give you another 1,000. 4,000 gold. Can you do that? No, no, only You gave him the amount you gave him. Fair. Um, I bust got 9,500, so. If you dump all the money, we can then re-divvy. Yeah, I know. Just trade them your glass hammer. Yeah, exactly. Just dump them. Okay. 
Oops, at 30. You should definitely get those hand motions, though. Plus four, so 73. And then how much do you have? I have 3,400. 34. A little extra, but just 34. Riveting. I have two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you have how much after? 2,374. Just because I'm curious. Uh, okay, so we have. I also have a thousand bucks of gems in gems. Okay, we have about thirteen k <clears throat> in gold. Okay. So what is it all together? Let's see, seven thousand plus five thousand. God, twelve. Twelve. Just under. 15. So we can't get the fifteen hundred, one hundred. But we can get the the girdle. We can get everything the but the amulet. Correct, and the two potions. Or we can forego the. The girdle. the girdle and get the amulet and the necklace. How, how, much, do we, the, how much do we have total? 7, 000, we have 13,000 gold. Including 13, the gems? Mm-hmm. No, if, with the gems Thousand. that puts us at about, yeah, at 14,000. So how, I was gonna say, how how far away are we from a, from the right total? Math, it's we worth need, it. We need the belt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I feel like that. For you? Yeah, we could. Do you want the could, belt? No, we could drop okay, the belt. Okay, well then. Good for Orem. It's 12. Oh, that's true. It's, uh, Shuffle people uh, around. I can already shuffle people around. Twelve hundred, six hundred. Uh, I'm gonna wear that damn butcher's belt. Twelve plus six. Mm. <laughs> uh, it would just be a fucking well done, nightmare. I'm doing, I'm doing it too. <laughs> right. I'd rather have the knife. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're uh, plus six hundred. Continues. Fifteen one. So. Eighteen thousand. Okay, so fifteen thousand is what he's asking for everything. Mm. Okay. And we've got fourteen thousand with if we takes gems. If we give you, this is everything we've got. This is 13,074 gold. And we've got $1,000 worth of gems with us. Actually, do we need those gems or anything? Or right. no I think he's asking for 15,100, right? Is I think that's, that's, we, don't, we don't want the belt. Just trying to shave off the brain. I'm saying if uh, we get everything, the total is 14,500. Okay, hold, uh, hold off on the gems then, I would say, for one second. Let's see what we or have. Or 15,100, sorry. So what do we have just in gold? 13. 13. 13. And I mean, it, would it, if we did a clean sweep, uh, would you accept thirteen for Hexen? Make a persuasion check. Come on, come on, come on. Where's Vex when you bless. need her? Let's guidance, go. Guidance, bless. Get out of here. Come on, Don. Where's yours? I believe in you. That's great. Am I'm I getting s- advantage because anybody's helping me? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a mild threatening demeanor, I suppose. That's not. Uh, no, no, no. I'd say really for this, it's, it's a straight roll for this. I'm smiling. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm smiling. 23? 23 is very good. Yeah! It was the smile. It was the smile. Uh, I'll tell you what 13,000 gold and the gym. Mm. For everything. For the lot. Yeah. That's a deal. All Plus right. this rope. <laughs> <laughs> no deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sick. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, right. Everything we have is gone. Goodbye. I technically don't have it. Okay. Uh, I put this back. Hey. What are you doing, sir? Is I know. I know. <laughs> Being honest. I used it when we blew up the other key. That's true. What did you Ooh. just say? It has been a bloody oh, honor and a privilege. Right. Blew up the key. I've got one <laughs> silver in my pocket. <laughs> goes ahead and closes when the door and kind of like leads you back out to the main entryway. And as it closes, it goes like, thank you very much for coming. I'm going to close up shop for a little bit. If anyone asks, I'm just going to go on the lunch break. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I couldn't help you. Yeah, we tried. Yeah. Closes the door. I'm bad at that. 3,400 and change to 78 gold. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. It's the yep. end of the world. Mm, yeah. I've, the rest of us got gold. Gold right. comes back. All right, let's go. All right, let's hide make our way back to town. Make All right. Way Those are some good fucking scores. We're hiding though. Yeah. our like stuff. I would like you to make a group stealth check. Group stealth check. Yeah, what have you got? Oh, I'm going to use my. I'm going to use a pass without a trace for this. Like so so oh, pass without a trace. Yeah. Great. Right, trace. Uh, oh, advantage. Uh, no, but this would not they be advantage because the, this is now like this isn't you cruising at breakneck speed on a crawler. This is walking uh, through the city, mm-hmm. or, or getting back to your crawler mm-hmm. in the middle of it, open space. So, fifteen. Fifteen. That's plus the ten. Yes, it is. Okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Thirty-one. 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I mean, you get a few interesting glances as you step through the street, getting back to your crawler, and you can see there are a few, you know, being a crawler parked in the middle of the Sun Gunna Strip of nobody, uh, people that do not actually wear any banner or allegiance to any of the other crawler gangs. You can see a few, like, odd views and some figures, like, some people have been walking by the crawler while you're in the shop, and as you step out, they kind of, like, step aside and scatter like they weren't even paying attention. Uh, and you're getting a few looks, but nobody is encroaching upon your personal space. It's just a general curiosity. Um, you step back onto the crawler, kind of uh, absolving the hitching post of the chain, and <coughs> the legs pick up and begin to tear away. Uh, people kind of step beyond the path and let it <coughs> carve its path back into the deep city of Vassaris, unimpeded and without issue. Everyone Until eventually you here. tear back out past the eastern side of the Carmine Curtain, long past the bridges, and then return to the hideaway. Your goods in tow. <laughs> I like shopping. I do too. I'll admit, I really like shopping. It's been a bit since you guys went shopping. Mm. Like the rest of you who've been. Waiting and partying. Uh, We've been doing a family therapy session oh. with yeah. you and your mom and dad for a while. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Make an insight check. Okay. What? Mm. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, so the rest of your group returns. You've caught up a bit with your parents. You've caught up. Uh, Hondir's kind of been, you know, helping around there quietly, uh, nervously asking, you know. Uh, so have you have um have you heard anything from other members of the Verity? I've kind of been in a, oh. I've kind of been laying low intentionally and assuming that things have gone well in my absence. Mm. I've done my part, and I'm not well, I'm not a person to um. Are we back? Yes, you you've returned. Kinda, back. They're kind of. It's a, it's a hot it's a rough, situation. It's a rough. It's a, It's bad. I, I they're know. a bit scattered. There, there's some in the under the 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 download the underdark. The shadow. Shadow fell. Thank you. And there's a few that are trapped in the fire plane. All right. We, we there are many of us around Exentria, and we've done most of the work we can do. We've kind of left it in the hands of uh, allies who are more capable of these final stages, I suppose. So that's good. That's Jeez. good. Well, good. I mean, some are stranded in the fire plane. Like just wandering the fire plane? No, no like they're in a house. Stuck in Plane Rider Rand's house. Oh, they should be safe there. I think there'll be. We'll have a chance to. Uh, what if Rand? What if Rand is gone? Then, I guess we'll have to find someone to go and retrieve them soon. Absolutely, positive outlook. That's right. Work the problem. But right now, they're fucking stuck. And apparently, Arnold Trot was captured. Unfortunate. Um, by who? I don't want it. By the Vanguard? Yes. Uh, yes. He, no, he was captured by Vasselheim. No, agents. no, by, by <laughs> Vasselheim agents. Oh. There were a bunch of like big, scary, um, uh, yeah, ju judicators. There's what? It was taken by judicators. That is no, does not bode well. Uh, well, um, I think I'll stay here. That's a good idea. Truly, I'll stay here with the Callaways. They could use some tending while you. He kind of like quietly looks over towards Iris, like while you move on. Yeah, but you have like some kind of perimeter security system or an early warning apparatus set up, right? I mean, you just got Ira over here looking through a telescope and just peeking on in. I'm pretty sure you could backtrack that somehow. Maybe. You don't have anything, do you? I do not. I, I'm, I'm a researcher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'll, you'll sleep fine. Here's the thing. The, the forces in Vasselheim were trying to take care of the Grim Verity because they wanted their secret kept safe, right? 
They didn't want the secret of Pradathas to get out. That is true, yes. So, would it make sense to tell someone in Vasselheim what Daleth is doing? If you have enough proof to convince them, otherwise you're showing your hand and liable to end up uh, where other members of the Verity have been. Yeah, I think we've been trying to tell them. We've... We've made attempts to get this across, but the Ruby Vanguard, Ludinus, has been very careful to keep all of his cards hidden until very recently. And when told of these things at, at such a juncture with little to, to convince, well, we've I haven't seen a few friends in some time. The shame is, I think we probably could, right as the solstice begins. It may not be enough soon enough, but such is the nature of his plan, and such is the arrogance of The temples that have been around for so long. Anyway, I do not wish to waste any more of your time, which is so precious in what is coming. Hmm. You can almost see him understanding the perspective of the people that want to break out old Master P. The temples being arrogant, mm -hmm. not listening. Yeah. Hmm. Well, not the, I mean, the Changebringer temple, I'm sure, was very responsive. I'm sure. Make him say, uh. Have you heard from Pike? I have not, but, you know, she'll reach out when she needs us. How many um, days away are we? Damn, Four? Uh, you are six, six days, days away. Six days. So, are we going to rest and go tomorrow? I guess we have to, right? <coughs> hmm? We're going? Yeah. Tomorrow? Is there any reason to wait? No. I mean, what I time mean, is it? The plan would be good. If we, if we go and fine. we're caught, I, I mean, I'm down all of the spells that we've used to message people today. So we go, let's rest Which and go is tomorrow. a lot, I mean, but. Day. Yeah, I'll take the rest of the day to paint that symbol on the sides of the ship, if that works. Yeah. Okay. So you adorn elements of the the ship of the uh, Silver Sun with symbols of the Cerberus assembly. assembly is what we said, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think that's right. Okay. I used the crate that Ashton kept for oh, we reference. Can, we can rest on the ship. We can rest on the ship. I keep thinking that it's like right that's there, true. but it's four days travel, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, rest. fuck it. Let's get on the ship and go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can, I can paint as we take off. Spider How long does that spell last? An hour. Okay. You can recast it yeah. a few times. Yeah, okay. So, as oh, the geez. skyship ascends once more into the... Tie rope to your body. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the slowly setting sunlit sky, the ominous gathering of dust clouds on the horizon, you begin to push northwest once more as Ira Climbs aboard the ship with you, and Xandas immediately turns and is like, "All right, you found everything in there. What the fuck is that?" Yep. This I mean, is... like grabs an axe and is like, "No, no, 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 no. Okay, this is Ira Wendigoth. He's a, 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 a valued guest of ours. Totally trustworthy. Very creepy. I reckon in it. Your uh, head, Captain Xandas. You hear? Do not trust him at all. But he is of value." And this kind of puts the axe slowly down. Well, if you're a guest of our bosses, guess you're a guest of ours as well, creepy tall man. Uh, welcome aboard the Silver Sun. Uh, make yourself at home. And Ira kind of like 
curls forward and then stands at full height, like mm. arms at the sides, legs, then in is like nearly 12, 13 feet Whoa. tall Whoa. at full height. And then just like gives a soft bow of the head and goes, It is a pleasure to be aboard your fine craft. Jeez, so tall. And then kind of the legs bend and the arms bend back down to almost a regular height, an average seven foot in that position oh before kind of knocking the tails of his long coat behind and then pulling the bag from the ether. Where shall my quarters be to sleep? And the captain goes, right about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have um, uh, Khalil go and show you around. Khalil, could you deal with the weird one? <laughs> and he was like, uh, yes, of course, I will. I will thank you, Captain, for your incredible show of bravery. Yes, you, I will show you to your cabins. <laughs> and as uh, leads uh, Ira beneath the deck, you watch as he kind of slowly like pulls and grabs the bottom of the, the door, and it's like, a weird folding of a paper clip as he kind of like pushes into the doorway before the head turns with a grin towards the rest of you and then vanishes oh. beneath the deck. We should uh, we should show everyone what we got. Divide it up. Yeah. I've already. I think there's really only one thing. I mean, one thing obviously has to go to you. This yeah. circlet. Yeah. yeah this circlet. All right. I mean, I'm going to take the belt unless anybody really wants to. You know, punch people at a running speed. I got. An Where's idea. the hall? Oh God! Whoa! Yeah. I you, I, I'm gonna hop down and grab the bib and bring it out. Gross. Where in the blood? It does like, oh. like spatter blood like, all across the just deck. Where it went? Well, no, we don't. Know <gasps> we're gonna need it. Yeah. Okay. I would like. Yeah. A <laughs> oh yeah. Also, oh, how's your health in general? How's my health in who's, general? Who's yeah. Needs yeah. The, who needs the necklace? Come on. My yeah. con might not be as bad as some others. I've got a con of 15. What's yours? 15. 15. 18. Mine's Four. 14, 14, but I already took the circlet. I mean, where you at, Jenny? 14. Ooh, Throw it that direction, shots. then. Why don't you take it? Well, I don't want it. No. Okay. Who else has got 14? I'm trying Just to respect our elders, Chad. <laughs> What's constitution or AC? Worries me. I don't think his constitution can stop that. It's just time. I'll say I I don't mind doubling you up if it comes to it. No Honestly, problem. we're just more or less likely to be attacked if we have you around with us. D tens, rolling true still. Mm. Or killed them. So I should what? But if they last, keeping you up and running go. is probably a good well, idea. Ladna goes down a lot. Ladna goes down yeah. so much. <laughs> but how how much does it improve your your? Uh... Is it a plus one or a plus two? It was nineteen. It's, how so much? It would jump me out. Nineteen plus four. Whoa, that's huge. That is a big I jump. I think that's a big deal. That's like you're all level eight, right? So that would, or are you level eight? Yeah, you're all level eight, which would mean, uh, for you, it would be an additional sixteen hit points. Oh, take it, killer. Take it. Yeah, yeah. you drop. I do drop a lot, a lot yeah. of paper. And take it. I just toss it at you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you're doing things. Take, 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 take an HP it. damage you from the necklace that gives you HP <laughs> right now. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, take right. the amulet. I'll take the amulet. Jenny, also, I'm just gonna pitch. I think um, you should give Imogen in the butcher's bib. What? I'm not wearing the butcher just for, bib. Like a Aesthetics. dramatic effect. No. Yes. What? You're absolutely what right. It really. I take it off. I take it off. Imogen. No. <laughs> <laughs> it stops midair. <laughs> Does it stop all the blood? Yeah, full on. Yes. Like you get know, <laughs> just... No. Just a, a couple drops. <laughs> Best use of telekinesis ever. They're all going does, to laugh it does the thing where it goes yeah. boom, and then it goes down. is a crit. I don't want to be a, a bloody butcher. I'll be a bloody butcher. <laughs> <laughs> you should be a bloody butcher. Well, no, this is You're your. You're a born bloody butcher. That, 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 that's a You're a born bloody butcher. You better believe it. Yeah. It's like no, made no, of skin, just like, like look, it's made of skin, just like your band, Fern. It's true, but that's, you love that. You wanted to put that on. I'm gonna go full wolf and just yeah, bleed all over myself, I think and I'm gonna should. feast on the faces of people. It's yeah, gonna be fucking it, awesome. It. I already have You'll my know where I was, because I'm gonna leave a blood trail behind me. 
So I, Grandma already gave me something. So this cross country right. skiing the, the, and the shit. The circlet is the <laughs> man, right? An extra. I believe it's yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna yes. take off the, oh, the Faye Wild chart. What's that do for you? The Faye Wild chart? Yeah. It doesn't do anything other than give me a chance to accidentally lose all my hair. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. We can do some cool stuff if you yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into that. I mean, have, Are you a sorcerer? No. <laughs> you have to be a sorcerer. Oh, you have to be a sorcerer. Give it to Ladna. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> Actually, do you want? What? what? Here, I pull it out of my hair. What is it? What is this? Is this the thing that makes you, you that makes weird it. stuff That's happen? The trouble bubble. Yeah. The trouble the tr bubble. <laughs> it's only a few sorcery points. <laughs> only a few. Look up the points. Fey Wild shard. I think it's kind of perfect. Oh, that makes me very happy, actually, the more I think about it. Mm. I can do this crazy thing. You have to probably go get it. All right, while you figure out all your shit, yeah. uh -huh. we're taking off. Oh, yeah, we're off. Yeah. We're, we're up and running. All right. The ship continues on to the night. Does anyone want my Pearl of Power? Just well, we'll, already oh. we'll do it. We'll, do it. We'll, we'll figure it all out. Take it you already gave it. I haven't yes. been using it, but yes. All right. Another evening comes to a close, and another day of journey begins. I'll say if we're, if we're bringing the night down just a real quick, Orm's on the deck of the ship, pulls out the stone. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, listen, what's going on over here is really bad. Get the group, head underground. Stay there till you hear from me again. Miss you. He responds, I'll see what I can do. There's plenty of places underground, I'm sure. It's a little hairy on this end, too. You take care of yourself. Be careful. And then he sings a song. Yes. Yeah. Kiss from a room. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That shit's so good. Like, Robbie's so talented. Right. That brings us to the next day. Five days to the solstice. Oh. Let's go, Orm. Is it my turn? Indeed. Three. Oh yes! no! No! Yeah! No! Time. Six for me. Time. Oh, no! There may one. never be another time. I got a one on the D6. What does it mean? What does it mean? Thank you. Thank you for fucking this up. Okay. Yep, he's he's touching all the things. Go, Galadon. Go ahead and wow. grab that Tarask. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it's been fun, kids. It's at this time that the windstorm <laughs> begins to kick in. But whereas the dust of gray and brown and yellow previously stormed through and blew about, this one has odd arcane coloration. This one carries with it sparks of energy and magic and weird bursts of uncontrolled Exandrian arcana. This is an arcane wind. Oh! Triggered by the shifting of the ley lines no. with the tumultuous weather of the Hellcat as. <laughs> Magic hailstorm! <laughs> Ball, blue skin. Glitter, 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 glitter! In my eye. It seems like a darkened storm, and then you watch. <laughs> blue, purple, green lightning arcing <laughs> through the cloud around you as you all begin to ratchet yourselves down. This is another skill check. Oh, I run and dive oh, in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, so, who's going to make the first attempt at trying to ford this storm? What are you doing to help oh, the Silver like Sun prepare magic? for this? Yeah. It, it is a heavy dust storm, but it brings with it an, an element of unpredictable magic as well. Oh boy. <sighs> unpredictable magic dust storm. Indeed. Um. Well, I'm gonna just run up to Captain Zandis, who's at the helm, I, I assume. And mm -hmm. it looks like there's lightning strikes all over the place. Like off the side of the ship, like 
through like 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 fi- uh, wildfire through the clouds, but it's all different colors that kind of match the the shifting and the ley line sparks and pulses you've oh, seen boy. getting brighter and brighter with each day. Well, then I don't know if this is gonna help, but I'm gonna cast protection from energy on oh, him. Oh, oh, nice. On, on them, on Zenith. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Okay. On, on them, on uh, for lightning, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So Zenith's like. Okay, this certainly get weird at times. Every time we go out together, so that's cool. A lot of stories <laughs> to have. We survived this. I'm gonna write them down in my eventual book. Uh, if we survive this, what are you doing? Well, I have CG. I'm just giving you a little boost against the elements, if that's all right. Oh, please take it. I'll take anything. Um, you go ahead and reach out and, and touch Zandis, and you watch as this kind of uh, kind of half inch wide. Uh, divine barrier like <laughs> washes over their body with a slight crackle. Chainbringer is watching you. Sure, whatever. As long as somebody's watching me, because I'm watching this craziness, and shifts the the ship to the right to like to effectively like ward off this heavy blast of arcane wind. <laughs> the shift begins to lift list a little bit, but Zanis is keeping it in tail. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll a d20 and just add your spell, your spellcraft modifier, and we'll use this as part of the initial skill test. Okay, well that's a natural one. <sighs> so that's a three. I have four. <sighs> Buddy. So you cast this spell on Xandis. And you watch as the, the the energy wave washes over them. They're like, "Oh, this feels a lot more confident." And the crackles go, get brighter. And Xandis is definitely protected, but bolts of energy begin oh, no. shooting out from the protective energy oh, field no. of Xandis and striking parts of the ship. I'm going to. Oh no! I need the rest of you to make dexterity saving throws yes. for me. Uh, as suddenly Xanus yeah. becomes a, 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 a lightning rod for this arcane energy, and the lightning that would be protecting is now being pushed out across oh, the no. entirety of the deck. Oh, 19. What is this, a dexterity save? Dexterity yes. saving throw. 15. Okay. Oh, uh, me too? He's going to roll. That is uh, 23 points of lightning damage. Woo! Oh, sorry, oh, you succeeded just half. So you, you, uh, that's uh, 11 oh. points of lightning damage. Okay. 15. 23 points of lightning damage. 7. 23 points of lightning damage. 19. Uh, 11 points of lightning damage. Eight. 23 points of lightning damage. Natural 20 for 25. 11 points of lightning damage. Uh, 20. Wait. And that's uh, 11 points of lightning damage. But Xandis is fine. Xandis is fine. Hey, but the ship, you can see like burn marks across the deck as the the energy kind of sparks through. And uh, Ira immediately kind of like curls out from the side and goes like, oh my. Oh my god. Um, all right, so that's. Uh, One fail. It's a natural one. So that counts as two. It counts as two failures. Oh, one more failure and this skill check is done. Oh no. Who's bringing up the next thing? It's, it's four successes before three failures and you've already got two out of the gate. Oh god. Oh god. We got this, guys. Four in a row. I got one or oh. somebody else. Yeah, do it. No, do it. You me? Okay, I was gonna... Uh, <laughs> I turn into a fucking wolf. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna run to the main mast where all the sails usually break in uh-huh. the, the main uh, beams, and I will uh, get my claws out and <laughs> climb up, and I will post up on the ropes and sails, and just be ready for anything that starts to break to start working my woodworking magic. That's <laughs> great. That's great. Uh, I'll say for that, uh, go ahead and roll a perception check to keep an eye for anything that begins to crack and uh, receive damage from the storm. 20, dirty 20. 20, that's a success. <laughs> All right, as you're kind of keeping an eye out there, your woven claws like dug in the sides of the wood, uh, you watch for any sort of heavy listing to the, the structure of the, of the sails, and you see like one that begins to like creak a bit, and you immediately like go over and grab, pull her up to it, and then hold it, and with your weight between the two uh, masts, you're kind of keeping it in place and not being bent to the point where the structure is starting to sustain damage uh, at the impact of the wind, and you're feeling pretty confident you've got this side of the ship pretty solid. <laughs> You're full on like Spider-Man at the front of the the, the train. Yes. Just like, oh. Oh, Tommy McGuire, the master of on-screen Spider-Man oh, yeah. faces. Um, who's up next? Oh, the one who's responsible. Oh, who's responsible for Colorful it. lightning going everywhere, right? Uh, the the lightning shooting off of uh, Xandis is subsiding, but there's colorful lightning going all throughout the clouds nearby. Uh, Orm runs to the front of the ship and jams Seedling down into the wood face down and vines go <laughs> out onto Sick. the deck. And I take my hands off of it and say a little prayer to the oh, goddess who booned me this and hope it acts as a lightning rod and just keeps over, keeps it off everyone else. 
Interesting. You're trying to what? Create a lightning rod? Attract the lightning. To keep it away right from there. us, our cool. flesh. Okay. Just hit the sword. Okay. Uh, are you are you appease, are, are you attempting to reach out to ask help from? Yeah, I did pray. Okay. okay. Uh, go ahead and just make a a, a wisdom check. Okay. Can I get <laughs> nine? A nine. Mm. Oh boy. <clears throat> the lightning strikes the sword, and as it hits, the lightning seems to almost freeze in place, like and just locks. Like time stops where this bolt of lightning is. It is bright, and the flash is kind of held sustained. And there's this odd moment of confusion and awe, like there's there's this just massive uh, filament that is just plasma bright at the head of the ship. And in this kind of odd moment, like the the air and quiet seems to still, and everyone kind of looks at each other confused before it ramps up with intensity, and this massive lightning blast ends up. Sh- Striking the front of the ship, and the the front of the Silver Sun oh, no. explodes oh. outward, oh. exposing part of the front of, of the ship's deck below. <laughs> yes, good. This, with this much wind now hitting and entering the hull, you can hear screams from the ship inside, and you kind of seeing this. One of the sails begins to crack a bit. You hold yep. tight as Anis goes. I'm going to have to bring it down. I have to bring it down, or it's going to come apart. Down. Everyone, just hold on tight. It begins to spin the wheel okay. as the ship begins to Breach. turn and rotate and go into kind of a downward oh, no. corkscrew spiral, barely holding on as it oh, spins no. within Eject, its own Eject. slow uh, descent, uh, eventually coming to a very hard landing onto the dusty ground below with a <laughs> eventually skids to a stop, turning and almost full tilting to its side before it just stops and comes to rest into a pile of dust as the arcane storm slowly passes by over the next 20 or so minutes, Whoa. crackling and whirling away. Yes, GM, wow. by the way, we definitely wow. brought the crawler along with us boring. if it fit on the ship. <laughs> I mean, we talked, oh, we had talked about it. Okay, the crawler was on the ship. Would, wouldn't would fit on, well, here, hmm. Oh, wait. <laughs> Roll a d20 for me. Did Put it? the crawler in the hole! I mean, no. 17. Yeah. 17. The crawler, which you had affixed to the deck of the ship, okay. you had affixed with such care oh, and obsession with it that it nearly but does not get thrown in the midst of this storm. Oh. Hey. It carves up a lot of the wood on the deck and has left a lot of damage around it, kind of being essentially a spiked, belated ball that's been kind of thrushed around. Um, but you do not lose it in the midst of the storm. You do, however, lose a day of travel. Oh. Uh. Great. When I recover so seedling, landing. does it have new oh, superhero no. powers from its? No, it's very hot though. Yeah. Okay. Ah, so. <laughs> it's like. Ah, ah. Why? There's a hole in the front of it. Oh my god. How are we gonna travel? The, this thing is not gonna Can we fly take anymore. Take the rest of the day to repair. Fly, it ta- it, it, just... it, you lose a day of travel because it takes a day to get it back up oh, and running. Okay. The, only, the only other option would be to make a cart and hit drive, and it would take the same amount of time, I guess. Uh, let's, uh, okay. I guess we bed down and well, fix a boat. Let's fix it. Let's fix right. a boat. It takes the majority of the rest of the afternoon into the evening to repair it. The crew's on task, um, and it eventually gets itself back up into the sky. It looks a little, a little ragged. It's definitely taken a few unfortunate blows, and it was not built to withstand uh, an arcane wind uh, <laughs> such as that. Um, but it is back up in the sky. You would think these damn gods. <laughs> would want to be on our side right now, sure. right? Yeah. You tell your yeah. fucking change bringer to give us some help. Was that yeah. you? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Whenever I ask questions about her, it's misleading answers. I only can ask questions about myself. It's interesting. You. Ask, what other rules are you going to discuss? If you stop worshiping you. them. That's not fair. Why, Why, not? Why not? Just see. Should I stop worshiping you? That's a big old no. <laughs> mm. Worth a try. All right, let's fix this thing. We got time right. to make We're up. up and out. We're flying. Yeah. We're All flying. right, so you're up and flying once more. <laughs> right as the evening <laughs> takes you to the sky, and another evening's rest, you can take a long rest. Oh, thank God. Yay. Great. 
phony. Yeah, with that. Yes. Phony, phony, phony. That's me. What you need, babe? Um, I'm pretty fully equipped on inventory. Okay. Would Cover. you feel uh, have any interest in this Feywild shard? <laughs> It's requires sorcery points to be used, so it's um, a sorcerer yeah. item. Oh well, we'll sell it. We'll hold on to it. Yeah, it doesn't okay. have to be. Because you're fully equipped too. Mm. Nobody else wants to. Can anybody else? Nobody else is no sorcerer. Oh, because nobody else. Nobody else. This is why. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. If we find a crazy person, <clears throat> I have ideas. But yeah. Who's rolling? Well, the evening comes to a close. The aurora itself is extremely bright now. It's like. From all perspectives on the deck of the ship, you are swimming through the ethereal sea. There is just curtains of color and energy and sparkles and flashes. It is a dreamscape around you on all sides with the backdrop of the black starlit sky. The beauty is transitioning slightly more and more into terrifying with the intensity of the aurora, and its shifting energy is now becoming more and more present as the face of magic across Exandria is changing, like it does about once every two centuries or so. Finishing out the night, that brings us the next day, four days till the solstice. Will somebody please go ahead and roll Come a d20 on, for me. One. No! Roll a d6 for me. You are lying. No! They're not on our side. Six. They're not on our side. Okay. So. Fuck. Mine is. Another dust storm kicks up. Oh, fucking Ugh. hell. A magic wand or just the No, this is a regular dust storm. It's not, as, it's not as heavy. Ugh. It's not quite as heavy as the, uh, the, the one that initially battered your ship about. It's just kind of like, it obscures your vision a bit. Um, Xander just goes, this is not really good luck with this timing. I mean, this, uh, you sure you need to do this? Like, we could just take a vacation. We could just go Where's to like. Xandis? We don't have time. Shamal Bay is maybe just a few more, uh, another week. To Wish we look. could. Okay. Yep. After, after, after. Well, well, okay. Uh, well, we'll keep pushing. We'll see if it's still there in a few days. Um, <laughs> what can I do? Mm. Orm, you're the first to see. Bing. Shit. Some sort of shadow in the storm behind you. <laughs> Shit. And right as you clarify ah. it following, you Guys. also hear the Fuck. and the faint glow that it emits. As you hear, Guys, you turn and look and watch as the glow is light sources flapping as a massive fiery bird in hot pursuit of your skyship begins to push through this storm. What do you do? A fiery bird? Like a, a red and orangey fiery bird? Its body is more like uh, like black and purple feathers, it looks like, that kind of lead into flames, and then its wings are just massive flames. Your first thought is possibly Phoenix. Uh, make an Arcana check. Gotta get this fucking ship on the ground. Yeah, like. Nine. Damn. Hard dive. Hard dive. Hard dive? Hard dive. And this goes, okay, once again, please hold on! <laughs> Cranks one of the various levers and the front uh, glowing broomstone rocks dull. And the ship just goes and goes into an immediate dive. Right as the creature. <laughs> And it comes into a dive behind. How, how, how close is the yeah, bird? How close is it? It's about a uh, hundred or so feet away, and it is gaining in the dive. I, As it's I now try, going into a. Can I just try to um, use a sorcery point and cast command on it? I I actually sure. I, I I attempt to rage again while I'm sitting there, and I tap my hammer down on the ground, and the rainbow sparks start. And there's a probability matrix now around us as well. Okay. Okay. So, okay. If that's a if that's if, if I can assist. Sure. Fair well, enough. Probably. All right, so you are casting command. Yes. That is a wisdom saving throw? Why, well, yes it is. 
It's a natural one. Okay, what Grace. do you command? No. Jesus. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's into a full dive and it's like catching up on the ship, and then immediately it <laughs> picks Bring up on. and just darts as the ship is still going down. You watch as the dust storm is like passing by, and you can just begin to see the shadow of Xandria approaching as Xandria goes. Gotta pull up, or we all die! Yeah, 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 yeah. Reverse it, and the two front broomstones glow with that heavy hum. And as the ship begins to pull up, you all feel yourselves like the G force pulling you down. You all grab on it. It actually hits the top of a big dune. Whoa. And the ship. You feel the, the rocking of the impact, but then it bounces up. You hear the creaking of wood, but not no serious damage. The storm's still blowing by. It's not as dense below here. Um, and the ship kind of picks up again, begins to drift uh, at, a, at, a, at a mild speed, trying to be careful of the wind. And you hear again. Yeah, it's coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. It only lasted for a minute. And you all see that glow from the dust above as this this gargantuan bird is now like swarming down towards the ship. Are there any? Oh, this is a stupid question. Are there any, now that we're low to the ground, any sinkholes on the horizon? Make a perception check. Oh boy. That was 18. That was, that was 18. Cool. 18. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. You see, uh, there's a ravine not far from where you are, but there's no sinkholes immediately that you can tell. Xandis, maybe some cover in that ravine. I'm going to try and do cover, but it, it's, it's looking at us. Look at this. And, and begins to pick up the speed. And now that this is coming into the ship, it picks up as much speed as it can safely, and the wind is still battering it from the storm, and it's trying to keep it together as they're just kind of holding uh, the wheel, and the bird is like now cruising above. You can see it kind of like coasting as its head looks, head looks down, and these like burning coals for oh eyes, God. and it's like darker wow. head and this like sharpened beak. Wow. And it just kind of uh, screeches, and you watch oh this flame just kind of burst out of its mouth as it screeches. How many, how, uh, how many feet? Uh, about 100 feet above you, and it's beginning to hone in. And we're in the ravine now? No, Xenus is heading towards it. They're currently steering it. Okay, okay, you knew this okay. This is going to be weird. Still 100 feet. Ladies, can you throw anything back in its face? It's yeah. too far away. I'm going to need to get a little closer. I'm going to just try to hit it with a lightning bolt. With a lightning bolt? Okay. That's long. Can start throwing damage spells at it. Actually, yeah. where the fuck is Ira? He's staying out of this. Okay, I mean, not okay. a dummy. He's sun tanning. He's got one of those. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bolt. team yeah. up with that lightning bolt and throw a ray of frost at it. Okay, it, uh, <laughs> dexterity saving throw is thirteen. So that's a oh failure. great, great! So that's eight d six of damage it takes. Go ahead. Eighty six. Eighty six. Oh God, I'm just dropping everything. Pick good one. Good call. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, God. That's, that's one of them. Mm, bow, bow. 10, 15, 21, uh, 24, 27, 28, 29. 29 points lighting damage, you got it. As the bolt arcs through it and slams into its body, it see it takes the impact and you know it it shrugs it off. Mm, oh, big bird. Immune to it, it doesn't. It, it's less less resistance and more just this is a a big ass. ass. It's a powerful beast. I'm gonna throw okay. a ray of frost okay. at it. Okay. Let me know the moment it gets within sixty feet. Okay, it's closing Ooh, quickly. Sense. So Ooh. now. <laughs> now. Oh shit! Oh fuck! While well, I did a ray of frost, fuck. Okay, well, a 19 plus seven to hit, so uh, 26, 26 to hit. That hits. And then can I immediately throw another spell at it? Oh, well, other people are gonna go while you're doing that, so. All right, um, seven cold damage, mm -hmm. um, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Great, so it's 120 foot fly speed is now 110 feet. Cool. Oh boy. <laughs> is, it, is it within 60, 60 feet? Uh, yeah, it's just about to slam onto the deck of the ship. Uh, oh, All right. Gonna, make, oh, sorry. You go. You uh, go. I'm polymorph. Ooh. Oh yeah. Polymorph. Yes. Polymorph. Yes. Okay. What are you turning it into, or trying to? A goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's fucking falling. 
So it's going to yeah, so immediately turn into no. no and then it just turns right back. back. Do what Keila yeah, we did. It's okay. Nothing. It's okay. She no. does her thing. Yeah. She's doing her thing. But it might no, wait, wait, it might goldfish okay. onto our deck, and then we can just catch. You set a goldfish, up. right? That was your first instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it. We'll see if it fell. I, I can't. That's gonna, that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> that's a third. That's a thirteen. <laughs> What's your uh, DC? Uh, uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a plan. Yes! I got a plan. Into a goldfish, push, and the wind just carries it up into the windstorm. That's true. It would be like kind of fly it's away. It's a tiny little fish. And it's a heavy windstorm, and the fish just goes. <laughs> yeah, they get carried. It disappears into the dust, like like right, like frogs. They just, get, they just get carried in these things until they get okay. dropped on a town. It might be like three minutes before it hits. It hits. It could be longer. Far enough away. Okay, they stay well, up there forever. That's great. Yeah, let's, let's keep going. going. Go go go. Let's just go. Just, okay. Uh, this is just. This is kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Is he, is the goldfish gone? We can't see the goldfish. Yeah, it just got picked up into the storm. Okay. Yeah, somewhere yeah. A, a half mile away, there's a family camping, and they're like, "What is that?" Boom! <laughs> 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 family camping. That lasts for an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't take Yay. long within a few minutes to feel that the safety of avoiding the imminent strike of this strangely roused and angered wow. beast uh, has <laughs> been averted. Yeah. For the fucking goldfish. Sorry. Yes. Is it though? Healing moment. Yeah. <laughs> sideways. So, no travel is lost. Woo. Yes. The day completes that issue. Wow. Right. How many days are, do we have left? Well, if you finish this day, it'll be three days to the solstice. And two days of travel to get to where you're going. Oh, it's gonna be so. Finishing the fourth night, unless anyone has anything they want to do. Nope. Nope. That brings us to three days of the solstice and two more days of travel. Someone else want to roll a d20? Oh. 17. 17. <gasps> Clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies ahead. The dust storms have settled, it seems, for the day. You now have a beautiful view of the Hellcatch below. Beautiful in the sense that it is beautifully clear. The Hellcatch is beautiful in its own right, and it's in its oddly barren and desiccated landscape. Uh, you can see the number of the kind of wicked looking trees. The, uh, you would know these as uh, Hagado trees mm. that kind of, this part of the Hellcatch kind of climb up looking like withered arms that kind of reach for the sky uh, about 20, 25 feet off the ground. Um, and you see them like pushing through cracks and such with elements of like pale green and orange leaves and small seed pods that kind of scatter around as the ships kind of keeping low and passing by. Um, nature is odd, but definitely uh, robust across this valley in unique ways in comparison to the rest of the continent. But if the skies are clear, I'm going to take a little bit of time to spider climb underneath, check my paint job, make sure it hasn't been sandblasted off, and maybe do touch-ups if needed. Uh, it's been somewhat sandblasted, but in a way that makes it look weathered. Oh, mm. fine, I'll leave it. It's good. Orem, mm. you feel this strange kind of pulse in your side pouch. This weird, like, like a, like a, a, a oh. weird thrum. Boom. Can I get a message? Boom. Can I get a message? It's not your no. stone. You forgot about this. It's you. You keep looking to it. It was a, a gift from a long time ago. But this small seed. That thing was like this big, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like settled in the bottom of your pouch. What? And it is. Mm-hmm. Forget about it. Uh, well, I'm going to examine it if it's uh, going off. It's got this like faint green glow to it. Wait, am I remember this is back from EXU. EXU, yeah. Yeah, not, no, no, not no, Keyleth, no, this is it from... You got it from one of the other druids. Yeah, in, uh, um, in the ancient ruins. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. Yes. Why does it mean? I don't know what it means. Well, nature check for me. That's not gonna go well. <laughs> Five. Five. I mean, it's a seed. Yeah. Try talking to it. Yeah. Hello? I mean, oh. I mean, am I, the, am I the only one who, it, it's a seed. Feed the seed? Feed Give it water? Put it, put it, it's a seed. 
Yeah, but. Grow something. We're in the air. Yeah. Hydroponic, man. Give it some water, though. Yeah. We can land. Okay. Does anyone have any water on them right now? No. Wait. Yeah, but we can get got some. a canteen. <coughs> stuff. Go mm -hmm. get some water. All right. You just pour it on there. Well, Hold on. I've been holding on to this to plant it. Is it really just an organic seed? Do you want me to identify it? Um, Ooh. You no. can. You can take a look at it. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. I have a. I don't have a. I got rid of the thimble, but I've got like a ball. Do you have like a pot or something? I don't know. Wait. It's big. my chamber pot. That'll do it. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Wait. Did it? Did, did, did Comedy. I, didn't I give that to? Mm -hmm. Who did I give that to? How big is the thing in your hand? The, 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 uh, it's like an uh, ostrich egg, if I remember. I think right. that thing just goes around. I'll identify it just to see if I can glean anything additional from it. We can use um, the the Taldore. Uh, oh, the tanker. The tanker. <laughs> do we have? Yeah, it'll fit in the tanker. Do we have some? Do we have some soil or something? I mean, we you could just put it in water and it would. I actually have some soil. You're kidding. You? I have graveyard soil, I believe. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Captain, do Captain this. Zen, if you have any, any kind of receptacles or containers on? Well, no, we have this tanker. I have graveyard dirt. Will, will it fit in the tankard? Uh, very snugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, no, yeah. Should we give it a little more room? Have it needs any kind of. You got any spare chamber like a barrel. pots? Wait, chamber? I mean, spare? I don't know. I didn't clean them myself, we so I don't we've got, we've got crates. We've got empty crates. We've got some crates in the yeah, box. We got, we got barrels and things. Like all of our, our I, rooms have I open up the in. I open up the hole and I pull out some of the crates, which if anyone oh, you can garden in a crate. Oh, there, yeah. Just fill it with some dirt. I pull out a small crate. We're gonna have a nice plant by the front. So, okay, great. Let's do this. By identifying it, do I glean any knowledge about how to grow it or what it will? Uh, it, it is a um, a message bloom. A message bloom. Somebody's trying to talk. And indeed, upon being planted uh, and watered, mm -hmm. it will convey the message. Oh, what? Cool. That is so cool. fucking cool. I want one. All right. Start tilling. <laughs> Okay. I'm Take, not good at this. I just found the planter. This is not my. Vibe. Place the grave dirt <laughs> within the small crate. Kind of open the space. Put the seed in and water it. There's like five, six, ten seconds go by, and you watch as a single green sprout curls up, leaves unfurl rapidly, and as it the stem extends upward, you watch as this bud begins to swell, and then opens wide into this vibrant display of bright blue and purple petals. As it opens up, multiple layers, multiple layers, you hear a voice come through, a familiar voice. Not just any voice, voice of the Tempest. Orin, the cult of the dark heart beneath Terra it was a challenging maze of dangers for the Ashari present, but the Dark Heart Behemoth was dealt with, and the Rift returned to its controlled state. We lost some good warriors in the fight, but their sacrifice will be remembered and cherished. I message you because I attempted to apprehend Vario, the head of this Ashari sect of betrayers, but he vanished shouting, the vanguard will prevail, and the world will finally be free. We couldn't stop him. But given all you've told me, and the signs pointing to a connection between these events, it would seem our paths are converging. Please let us know where this vanguard makes its work. Perhaps I can gather those who can recover within the Ashari to help stand against Ludinus and his vanguard. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what did she say? The She's fucking help. cavalry. All. So there's, yeah, so there. So, okay, did the message end? I don't want to step on it. That's the last bit, and you watch as it finishes, and the beautiful bloom rapidly withers and crumbles. Did we all hear it, or no. just. Or just uh, you, you all heard it audibly, like it, it, it emanated from the plant. Okay. Before, before we deal with that, what happens to the seed? At that moment, like, is it crumble Those away? Days. It crumbles away. Oh. Well. 
Um, and then the name of the betrayer was Vareo? Vareo. V U R E E O. My proper play. V U R E E O. Correct. No, it just like scribbles. Mm. It looks just like I scribbled a name. And her voice just sort of like tinkled into the into the air for all to hear, right? Yeah. Was it Ashari or, or what? What? What did? Ashari. It was Ashari. Okay, just checking. Double checking. Double checking. She's she's gonna help us. We just have to. You have to reach out and yeah. let her know where we're heading. Sure. Wow. All right. Oh boy. That's good. That's the first good luck we've had. Shit. Do you have that? Yeah. You got the juice. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, I'm sending a message. Do you want to ask Captain Zendis a description of where we are currently, or where we're heading, or I was just to gonna, she, she was wanting to know where it was all converging, so I was gonna tell her when we were gonna arrive, yeah. and, and let them know that it, it's at the, does that, does that make sense? Because I feel like if we try to meet up with them, it, it might, what do you think? Well, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, knows, but. the all the magical curtains of light that we've been traveling through are they all they're not all crisscross right are they all moving like a path you've seen multiple layers of it like kind of almost like they've all been creating this kind of unique funneling uh, direction and you've crossed through a number in this journey but now, as you grow closer, you looking for this specifically, you can see they're right, all Nexus. converging towards okay. the direction we're oh, traveling. So, okay. a nexus of ley lines north of. Um, Lost Uh, uh Northeast. Yes. All right. And we'll be there in two nights? Uh, we'll be there. About, yeah. Okay. Should all travel well. Yeah. Okay, and it can be more than one message. We've sure. Got two yeah, days. yeah, yeah. We'll tell her uh, our, our ETA. Yeah. Um. Give her all the information, and then and then you know, and let's just go from there. All right. Messages. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> yeah. Message received. They're converging at the Nexus. Northeast of Bosserus. The Tishtin excavation point. We should be arriving in two days' time, if all goes well. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the heads up. We'll gather who's available and able bodied. See that our wounded are taken care of. And we'll attempt to meet you there as soon as possible. Holy shit. Be safe. Attract too much attention, but I think we got this. I cannot believe you said that out loud. You got powerful friends. <laughs> yeah. Be nice to meet up. I'm, uh, it's uh, first time in a long time. Which I'm just gonna stun. Sorry. Let's press on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I bet my sister's coming. Mm. Sister? What? Uh, my, my husband's sister. Oh. Who's she? Uh, Lita. 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 Yeah. She's a, an Ashari warrior? Uh, she is like me, yeah. Um, 
uh, when my dad uh, died, she took over for him when her dad died. She serves as the right hand of the Tempest. Oh, wow. Well. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Feels right. hopeful. Mm -hmm. That's a new feeling for. Well, let's just breathe deep, have a drink, a meal, and it'll pass. <laughs> <clears throat> let's do it. Last roll is you, Marisha. Oh no. Mm. All right. Oh, As yeah. the night comes to a close. An odd calm comes across some of you with that glimmer of hope finally rising and bringing some light to the dark path you've seen before you this trek. I'm going to pull out the locket and just read it over and over and over again. Okay. Anyone else have anything they wish to do for the evening? Very well. And take your long rests as you sleep through the night. Two days till the apogee solstice. Oh, God. Well, I'm cooking, I'm baking all night, by the way. Okay, so we come right back down to the following day. <laughs> Somebody roll a d20 for me, please. Marsha. Let's go. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. Let's go. I believe in you. Not 20. Let's see if I ruin all that hope we just got. Fifteen. Right. Fifteen. Change bringer watches over you. <laughs> you can see <laughs> the ley lines grow stronger and brighter and more chaotic with their pulses and energy flashes. And you can all smell and taste in the air this electric energy. There's this kind of vibration to the atmosphere around you. You can't help but be excited and scared by it. And as you grow used to it, you begin to forget what that feels like until you take a moment to focus again. And every time it's a rush of adrenaline. And you can see more storms being whipped up by the shifting of these lines. And you begin to now take note that in these ley lines pushing towards this nexus, they are making the weather more and more dangerous along with them. But you managed to avoid any of that for your last leg of the journey, bringing you to your final evening before arrival and what will be the day before or the day in which the solstice arrives. If I if I step away and I open my mind up, that white noise, what does it sound like now? It's like it's like a heavy wind blowing directly into your mind. It is hard to to focus on it and it, it gives you an instantaneous mild headache to try and just leave that space available. Anything during the day you wish to do, or do we come to the final evening before your approach? Just working in my room on a project. Can I get a look-see to see if I feel like anybody's watching us? Make a perception check for me. For some dumb reason. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. You keep a keen eye around you for the majority of the day. You catch yourself being spooked a few times from the flashing of the energy as you now approach where this nexus is building, where the ley lines have been shifting and maneuvering over towards this excavation site. But you don't see anyone or feel anyone who's uninvited. Sure, she's scrapped. Dark. As you all bed down for the final evening on your approach. Mm. Um, I'll say Orem before bed, um, 
spent some time kneeling, sitting on his heels on the deck of the ship with his sword and shield on the uh, deck in front of him and just meditates on the last few months and meditates on the last six years and thinks of, of everyone in the family and of course his father and his husband looking at these ley lines and is Ruda still with us? Uh, for the majority of the turn, yeah, the, the current rotation has Rudis low in the horizon, but visible. Okay, so he's just breathing through it all and thinking of everything that led to this point, and then goes to bed early because... Actually, can I, while you're meditating, yeah. can I come up behind you and in your head you hear, Big Moon, Little Moon? Does it ever feel tainted? No. Surreal, yeah, but not tainted, no. Does it change anything knowing what you have on you is, is something completely different than what you thought, though? Much in life is the way I thought it'd be. Was it for you? Sometimes. This is us. That's me and him. Anyway, that thing has been in the sky for a long time. A lot of people have laughed and wept under it, had children, put their parents in the ground. And none of that is meaningless, and that's true for me too. If anything, it makes, it makes it seem like I was always meant to be here right now. I don't know, chance, fate? Fate. That's what they're trying to get rid of, you know? I don't know if you heard my mom say that, but they want to get rid of fate. I'm grateful that whatever it is brought us together. Hugs her around the knees. <laughs> I'm going to go try to sleep. Yeah. I'm not worried about you. You telling the truth there? I always tell the truth, Imogen. All right. Get some rest. Don't torture yourself too much. <laughs> I will. All right. Scoop up my stuff. And pad downstairs. Go and find Laudna. Okay. Are you in your quarters? Probably. Okay. Hey. Hi. Anna. Are, are you sleeping? No. I was just staring at the wall with my eyes open. <laughs> um. Big night. Good. 
don't have to lie to me. No, I know, yeah, no, it's terrible. I mean, this it was, it was, it was is scary as hell. Yeah. Worried about you. Yeah. This is a lot. Yeah. I feel like I'm... Um, I don't know, like I haven't talked to you in a while. We've been busy? No, I know, I know, I just, um... I don't know, since you... Since you came back... I've been almost scared... to say anything. Say what? We want this, right? We want to do this. Preventing a god-eating god. It's not good. I understand the appeals of how it all sounds. I don't think there's anything wrong in considering what could be with that type of change. I really don't. What makes me nervous about all of it is the unknown unknowns. It's the Things that we could lose at the cost of some sort of perceived freedom. Yeah. If it takes away all of our, uh, our magic, anything gifted to us from something greater, live a normal life. If you wish to have a quiet life in a cozy cottage, in a field, raise horses and just be. No gods or fates or destiny can keep you from that, can keep us from that. Gods have never kept us from our ability to have choice. Yeah. You have a choice. A very difficult one. is just as much of a real power as your abilities to fly or speak in people's minds. <laughs> if anything, it is the most important power that you possess. Don't let them get in your head. Try and claim otherwise. Yeah. I know we haven't talked much here recently, but I think in a way it's just... I feel so comfortable and so bonded with you. We transcend words, our relationship. You always have me. I'll always be there to support you. Okay. No matter what you choose. And you don't have to make these choices alone. I give her 
her hug. I love you so much. I love you more than anything. You know, I had a... amusing conversation with Ashton the other night. And they asked... Oh. Mm commented about how odd it is that I'm the more grounded and secure one. Between the two of y'all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's because I feel like I have a strong foundation. and the rest of these crazy borderline murder hobos. <laughs> yeah. You're my tether, Lotna. Sometimes I feel like I'm about to float away, but as long as you're there. You quite literally pulled me from darkness and death. That tether goes beyond this realm and this life. We've got this. We've got this. You're very capable. <sighs> yeah. My mom was trying to show me a world that um, would be freeing if I just went back to being normal. But I feel like I feel like our our weirdness is what makes us right. Is that dumb? Not at all. This locket, it says, the better halves make a better whole. You have to love it all. I don't mind being your better half. <laughs> and I think you're absolutely right. Look at us. Do you really think we're destined for normalcy? No. No. That's boring anyway. These weirdos are gonna get shit done. Hell yeah, we do. All right. Want to cuddle up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any other business for the evening? Um, Ashton is just going to spend a couple hours with a bottle of something at the very, very back of the ship, having a <laughs> argument with people who are not there. Oh. And they go to sleep. Okay. You see a small blood trail starting to eke out from under <laughs> Chetney's room. <laughs> She's fucking asleep with the bib. <laughs> oh, the poor blood. So funny, <laughs> he drew blood whiskers on his face. <laughs> so Give in. Bless you. Naked in a chair in front of a mirror, just gripping <laughs> with the bib. That's, That's amazing. I'm just going to take out my dulcimer, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna play um, a song that sounds like Blue Moon, <laughs> but we'll call it Red Moon. <laughs> okay. Red Moon. <laughs> <laughs> and just watch the moon. Okay. Mm. Anybody else? Very well. 
All right, I'm, I'm baking some, uh, some profiteroles. Mm. Some critical profiteroles. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, those of you who are still awake on the deck at night before going to retire for the evening, the network of arcane threads that wrap around the sky over the Hellcatch is a sight few see in their lifetime, and that weight is felt. And amongst the tension of what's to come, you also can't help but appreciate the beauty of something on this scale, removed from the context of those that wish to abuse. And in the silence, just the sound of gentle wind blowing by and the occasional shout of a drunken Ashton and the beautiful tunes of the dulcimer played across the front of the damaged but holding Silver Sun. The night before the solstice comes to a close. And with the morning comes the soft, cloudy, dust-filled skies of a gentle storm. As you begin your final day's journey to the site where everything is to happen. That's where we'll finish the next episode. Oh. No problem. We got plans. We got allies. We got this. Yeah. We have music. You yeah. could ask for anything. I'm scared. I'm ready. I am so ready for this. And it sends out Anti-magic waves every minute. Yeah. Yes. Facts. Every minute, just a little. A lot can happen in a minute. A lot can happen in a minute if you're careful. Yeah. It's gonna funnel a metric buck ton of dispel magic at the moon. <laughs> yeah. Dispel it. Yeah. Dispel that moon. <laughs> Crack that Fabergé egg open. <laughs> oh just counterspell that. Uh, that'll that's work. it. Yep, can, that's it. Who's got a wish spell? What you can't counterspell anti magic, can you? Well, <laughs> I guess we can find wow, out. Wow, that's an interesting question. Don't think that's too hard. No, it's you hurting already. I feel it. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you just go behind you, unplug it. That's true. <laughs> Try to turn it off and on again. But on that note, <laughs> we'll see y'all for what's happening next time. Uh, until then, have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Good night. Oh,